Okay, guys, here we are. We are in a brand new place. Let's talk to some new people. Let's talk to some new protocol droids. Tell I me about this place. Oh. Citizen. Move Just kidding. Okay. Oh, look, there's a Jedi. I assume they want me to go down this ramp, but I'm going to explore a little bit. <laughs> Good day to you. I'm afraid I cannot speak to you at the moment. I bet I everyone's going to not want to speak to me. That's so disappointing. I wonder if I can go I through any of these doors. It's a matter of time before the Sith find us here, uh -oh. too. Before they find us here. <clears throat> okay, I could talk to this person, I bet. But. Just wanna take a little look, see? Can't go that way. I'm assuming it's just gonna be a bunch of doors that I get I can't enter, but you know me guys, I gotta I have to check! Just in case there's there could be hiding some special loot for the for the the thorough player. <laughs> they're not they're not. Oh well, I tried. At least I won't be left wondering what if, guys. Mm-hmm. You spent many lifetimes in this game? Oh, amazing. I love that. I just love... Oh, I don't want to go in. I just want to talk to this security droid. In, in, indeed. Okay. Now I'll talk to this guy. Talk to your wife. Okay, I'm excited to meet this person you guys are talking about. <clears throat> Rodriguez, hi! Hello! Um, you always walk around the edges just to fill out the map. That too, that too. And then it looks all nice. Although this one looks like it's already done even though I haven't gone in those areas, but it's okay. What's over there? Mercantile. Wait, can I actually go down this way? Oh, I can. Whoa, I didn't even notice it. I did that and then I didn't even, I, <laughs> I was a failure. <clears throat> Villain! I haven't logged into Twitter. Oh, sorry. I haven't. <laughs> I still haven't. I never go on Twitter. I'm sorry. I meant to do it one day and then I forgot to do it. I'll thank you for the reminder, villain. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Juniper. Hi, Juniper. How are you doing, my friend? Greetings, my young friend. I assume you are not a member of the Order, as you are not wearing the traditional garb of the Jedi. Not yet. Um, allow me to introduce myself. I am Kratis Yurkal, proprietor of the general store here on Dantooine. Not much to look at now, I'll admit, but I'm in on the ground floor. I mean, look at this planet. Majestic fields, rolling plains, wide open terra firma. firma. Elbow room, I missed that. Once word gets out, we'll have settlers and tourists from the Galactic Core just dying to come here. And guess who'll be waiting for them? Not that blasted Zerka Corp, that's for sure. Not this time, no sir. This time, it'll be Kratis Yurkal who makes the big buck. But listen to me. You didn't ha come here to listen to my ramblings on the evils of the Circa Corp. I'll bet. What can I do for you? Jeez, that guy was talking a lot. <laughs> oh, speed reading, guys. I can read. This is just like making sure that I went to elementary school. <laughs> that I could read in front of the class. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> If there's also Alex Tween, Ben Tween, <laughs> John Tween, William Tween, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> um, what do you have against the Circa Corporation? Annie Tween. Tee hee <laughs> That was like auctioneer speed. Thanks, Obi. <laughs> <clears throat> I was stumbled over Circa Corporation both times I said it, I think. Okay. Don't get me started on Zerka Corp. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for him to talk. Okay. They've got a monopoly on half the galaxy already, and they do everything they can to keep everyone else from getting a foothold in their territory. Extortion, bribing officials, and government diplomats. Okay, now I'm ready too fast. <laughs> Uh, not to mention driving up prices on essentials like food and water on distant colonies. I've heard stories of them letting people starve to death because they couldn't afford their jacked up prices. That's not very nice, is it? Um, and since they've thrown themselves in with the Sith, things have only gotten worse. Uh-oh. You know their bad news, then. They've thrown themselves in with the Sith. Um, Circa Corp are allied with the Sith? 
Yeah. Worse? How's it gotten worse? Zerka's pretty horrible, hey? Yeah, it's, it kind of sounds like it. Miss one, too? That is I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> gotcha, coo. If you think Zerka Corp is bad, wait until Damask Holdings come in. Oh. Hmm. Just always got a gotta one up, you know? <laughs> Canadian grocery stores. <laughs> oh, okay. Um how's it gotten worse? <laughs> the Sith are tangled up in an expensive <laughs> war with the Republic. They need supplies, equipment, resources. There's lots of opportunities for a company with no morals like Circa Corp to make some major profits. Malik has given them exclusive trading rights wherever the Sith have control. Oh. Hmm. It's bad enough they're helping to finance the Sith war effort, but I've heard rumors of even worse stuff. Like what? Slaving, pillaging planets of their resources, genocide of indigenous species. The Sith and Circa Corp seem like a perfect match to me. Ah, uh, listen to me going on. You didn't come here to listen to my ramblings on the evils of the Circa Corp, I'll bet. What can I do for ya? Well, I did here. I, I did come here for that. I want to know all about the Circa Corp. <laughs> Circa's just the big corporation um, equals bad of this game. Yeah. Big corporation equals bad, guys. Allied with whoever can give them a profit. Yeah. Doesn't sound no very ethical, does does it? Ajunta, uh, what do you have for sale? Excellent, as always. My selection is somewhat limited. Circuit Corp has a monopoly on some of the something, but I'm sure you'll find all my inventory is of the highest quality, and I've got a few special items you won't find anywhere else. Oh, pizza cards. <laughs> okay, should I buy some stuff? Assault rifle, Jurgen Kalta. Who's that? Hmm. Hmm. Breath mask. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Calrissian's utility belt. Pizzat cards. He does have pizzat cards. A. 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 I have four thousand nine hundred ninety-seven credits, guys. Not bad. Not bad, right? They believe Sith are on the winning side, probably. Mm -hmm. And you can make more money if you don't have morals, I suppose. <laughs> you don't have to worry about pesky stuff like collateral damage. <clears throat> Banking clan. The Christian belt is amazing, is it? Computer use, demolitions, repair, security. Oh, that is kind of amazing. It's $3,000 though. That's like almost all my money. I mean, it's like two thirds of my money. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, they have some really expensive stuff here. This one's 8,500. I think I should just buy some Fizzat cards for now. That's 7,000. These are... Okay. Yeah. I'll get some more money and come back to you, my friend. The Strength Enhancer... Saves all plus two and Strength plus two? Mmm. That sounds good. It is an expensive shop, isn't it? Um, a plus minus five. I think I'm gonna buy some plus minus cards. This one's only 75. Thank you. I'll buy this one as well. Um, should I buy a plus minus one? I already have a couple, but maybe I'll buy one. Sure. 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 Okay. I think that's it for now. Yes. Step one, get credit. Step two, repeat step one. I'll try. I will try. <clears throat> I'll see Zerka soon enough. <clears throat> it does seem like they are gonna have an impact. I'm sorry, human. I am unable to render assistance at this time. Um, rude. Uh, I greet you, human. I am Carol Carr, owner of this outpost of Aerotech Droids Inc. Ah, Spruce! Hi! Welcome in, Raiders. How you doing? Sorry, I'm reading. My protocol droids are not programmed to interact with customers, so should you desire assistance, I can aid you. Okay, there we go. How was your stream, Spurious? Thank you for the shout out to Spurious. Hello, hello. Hello, there's another Annie here. Hello. 
Hello, Annie. Mick26, how you doing? Annie MC. Annie to Annie. Hope you're having a good time, a good, a good day today. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Annie. I appreciate it. It's weird saying my own name. I like it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Hi, Spurs. Hi, Farmer Bob. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, in this game, you never had enough money. In this game, you had too much. Interesting, Jedi. Interesting. Hmm. Mandolin, hi. We're on Dantooine. We are. There's two. There's two Annie stuff fungus. I'm doing well, Annie. Thank you for asking. Um, what do you have in stock? No, uh, yeah? New stuff. Explore my inventory at your convenience. Settler families have purchased all my droids, but I have many upgrades and other wares for purchase. If I want to upgrade T3 here. Annie McPhee! Mm -hmm. Practicing some jedi -ing. Nice, nice. Amazing. I would like to be practicing some jedi -ing. If they would let me. Okay, so I don't really know. This is all just stuff to upgrade T3, I guess. Which I'm not gonna do at the moment. <laughs> um, shouldn't have made this bargain, coffee. Well, that's all she wrote for now. Okay, let's see. I think we have to go down this way. Oh, we have to talk to this guy first, maybe. Yeah, I made it off Terrace. I did, Bob. I did. We did it. Mm hmm. <clears throat> not, not your surname. Hope, yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> Just makes me think of Nanny McPhee. Mm hmm. It's your first time meeting another Annie on Twitch? Oh, well, hello. Hello, hello. It's also my first time. Lord, you look at that. <laughs> Two virgins. <laughs> Greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? Sentient. Why does he call me sentient? I mean, yes, I am sentient. Practice not Jediing. I want to Jedi it, though. Completionist gene is strong in this stream. Yeah, it is fungus. I have to talk to everybody, of course. Of course. Always, always and forever. Um, go ahead. I represent a human citizen of Dantween by the name of Rundle Ot Sulam. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. <gasps> Those darn Mandalorians. Am I going to have to fight some Mandalorians now? His ranch. Oh, his young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. Huh. Are we gonna have to find this Sasha? You're also Canadian, wow. Another Canadian Annie, it's amazing. Are we twins? <laughs> we the same person? Hmm. <clears throat> Um, I have no idea who you're talking about. Do you actually believe she's still alive? I believe she's probably running that that gang of raiders now. I think that's what I think, guys. <laughs> I believe in her. <laughs> Hello, good noodle. Welcome in. Canada is real. Yep. It is only if you believe. Only if you believe. <laughs> We're like fairies. You have to believe in us. That's Tahiti, a magical place! Hey, That's a reference that I understand. Guys, Agent Coulson? Yeah? Uh, 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 I got it. I got it. Okay, um, anyways. <laughs> um, I have no idea who you're talking about. That's too bad. I shall have to continue my search. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for her. I'll keep an eye out for her. Clones, yeah. Clones, guys. Clones. Um, I'm the evil clone? Maybe. <laughs> Nerd cred established! Thanks! Thanks, Summer Bob! I understood that reference, guys! Okay, um, I didn't watch all of that, um, set of Cole, yeah. I didn't watch all of that show, but I watched, like, the first, like, four or five seasons. Um, problems with Mandalorian common on Dead Tween. Oh, yes. Are there? I would like to know that. Are the Mandalorians the big bad gang? Terrorizing everyone here? I understand they are, though I know little of the history behind this conflict. Someone native to this planet could tell you more. Okay. Grab a bongo. 
Um, local authorities? Dantooine has little in the way of local authorities sentient. I asked the Jedi of the Enclave to intervene, but they have far more pressing concerns to attend to than me. And Bastila showed up out of the blue. Um, as often the way on this planet, if a citizen wishes, wishes to accomplish something, they must seek to do it themselves. Hmm. Um, is there anything of interest on Dantooine that you can tell me about? There's no large urban center on Dantooine, if that's what interests you. I find the variety and number of natural habitats to be most intriguing, however. Hmm. So no big city? I like it when he says that. <laughs> uh, if you get the chance, I would urge you to explore the planet's ranges in more detail. They are quite beautiful. Okay, I will. Hello, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I also on the West Coast? Yes. Vancouver. It was a nice day today, guys. It was, it was lovely. Um, okay, I'll keep my eye out for your girl. Um, okay. Done. Done like dinner. Now we get to go down this way, I guess. See what's in store. Hello, dear sir. Uh, welcome to the Jedi Enclave of Dantooine. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Deersa Lurjada. You may call me Deersa. No, Deesra. I was reading that wrong. Deesra. Deesra. I have not heard of any new apprentices being accepted for training recently. What brings you to this place, if I may ask? I'm going to be a new apprentice accepted, okay? I mean, I hope. I came here with Bastila. I'm with Bastila, guys. Mm -hmm. Lovely, if you don't mind a bit of rain, yes. But rain sucks after a while. <laughs> These are nuts, yes. Um, yes, of course, I should have known. I have only heard a little of how she escaped the destruction of Terrace. Tell me, did she save you from that planet as well? I saved her! They really keep, like, putting this point down. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she didn't save me. Work together to escape Terrace. Get your story straight. I'm the one who saved her. I'll say we worked together. Because we did. We did. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, oh, I see. Well, I meant no offense, of course. In any case, it is good to have her back here on Dantooine again. We were afraid Malik had captured her. That wouldn't be good. We did work together. I know. We worked together. I said it. Um, I hope you enjoy your time here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. It was just when I first rescued her, she was really like, I rescued you. And it was like, I, do you know how much work I put in? I went into the Undercity. I did all this exploration. Is that it? Achuta. Hope you enjoy your time. May the force be with you. Okay. Okay, that's it. Into the, into the, the inside. The hallways. Jedi, what up? Good day to you. I'm afraid I cannot speak to you at the moment. I apologize. Fine. Be that way. The Lia. Ooh, pretty. It's pretty in here. Look at this tree. You there, Padawan. Why are you not Padawan? wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Am I a Padawan? Um, does that mean I'm a Padawan? <laughs> guys <laughs> may the force be with you yes it will be with me it's with me guys <clears throat> like waifu oh Salbor's your least favorite up till now your favorite is Bastila I like Karth guys I like Karth I'm just gonna say it I like Mission too okay um I don't really know um, Candrus very much yet. Okay. Are you a Jedi? My name is Belaya. I have come here to further my learning in the ways of the Force. Many Jedi come here to train under Master Ja. Any who belong to the Order should surely know this. You must be neglecting I'm your studies, I'm not a Padawan. Padawan. I'm not a Padawan. Very Lint doesn't like Karth. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I still like him. Welcome in, Verulent. Ver, why can't I say this? Ver, 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 
Virul- No, my- my brain's not working anymore. Virulent. I can't- my- Mouth. No. <laughs> oh, but welcome in and I'm sorry for butchering your name. Hello. Yeah, my brain doesn't want to say that word. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not a Padawan. I'm anyone too and I came here with Bastila. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Apparently. Remarkable in Karth one is better so than young. Kaden, I think so. so. I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this Ooh, hard to believe. She the force is strong it. within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Um... I'm telling the truth. I just didn't know. I didn't know I had the force. She's feeling my force. Yeah. Vir virulent. Virulent. But it just sounds so... My brain, it's just like virulent. That sounds weird. Virulent. 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 I know that's... I know that it's a word. <laughs> it's just sounding weird in my brain right now. That happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. English is hard today. Thanks, Pat. But I got this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're trying. Okay. Um, I'm telling you the truth, lady. Yeah, where's my lightsaber, Obi? Exactly. Please forgive the exactly. abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much mm, left to learn. Okay. I wish you a pleasant An stay apology. here on Dantooine. Thank you. May the force be with you. Just like that. She's like, oh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Wait, talk to me again. I wish you a pleasant stay oh, here on Dantooine. That's it. May the Force be with you. She knows I have the Force with me. I do. I do, I do. So I can go down that way. And go up this way. And go over this way. Let's go this way, because this is a dead end. And it's just a, a Jedi droid. The council has decreed you must not leave the enclave. Please return to your room. Mean. I can't exit. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. She's a little bit overzealous. <laughs> She's just just having fun. Ties! Hi Ties, how's it going? Anyone to win? That's Dan that's right. Has a splendid environment. How are you? I would hate to see it damaged by too many settlers. <laughs> it's something like that may have been said before, but I still like it. <laughs> I cannot render assistance. Oh, no one Citizen, can assist me. Move along. What are through these doors? Bedrooms. Oh, we're breaking into people's bedrooms now. Mm-hmm. Okay. No force powers, no not, no lightsaber. No, unfortunately not yet, guys. But hopefully soon. Anyone Kenobi. You've the look of a seasoned Pazak player. Ooh, I downloaded it from time to time myself. Care for a game? You know I do. You know I do. Let's Pazak it up, guys. Um, who are you? I am Sola, and to be perfectly blunt, my business is my own. I do offer you, though, the company of my time for a game or two of Pazak. Oh. Okay, I'll take your time. I'll take your company. Do you care for a hand? Uh, yes. R2, anyone too? <laughs> sure, I'll play you. Let's get started then. A Jedi droid. They're just handing out Jedi status to everything. Right? I was like, is this droid a Jedi? <laughs> These droids aren't. No, they're not very being very nice to me, are they? Are they, Mr. Asthmatic? Okay, we're gonna wager 120. We're going up. My max wager used to be 40. Okay, let's do it. Let's wager it, guys. Um, do I want to use some of my other cards? Instead of a three, I'll use a plus minus three. Mm. And I have a plus minus five and a plus. Well, instead of a plus one, do that. Instead of a plus one, do plus minus. Wait. This one's plus one. Plus minus. Uh, do I need that many plus minus ones? <laughs> Maybe I want to do that. Maybe that'll work for me. Plus minus ones. Minus two. 
Mm. I think we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a try, guys. Godless, hi! You're just in time for some Pazak! We'll see if I'm gonna lose. Fingers crossed I don't, guys. <laughs> you find it too early to judge, Sprayus? About, um, favorite characters? That's fair. Okay. Yeah, I don't know them well enough yet either, really. I'm gonna use this side deck. I still have cat hair in my nose, I think. Mr. Asthmatic, thanks for believing in me. Let's do it. Um, okay. Continuing, continuing. Oh, you guys are predicting? Okay. Is it gonna be the overall total mash, though? Because we got time. We got time, right? But maybe I'll let you vote before I continue. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can't have an advantage. Oh, you did 30 seconds. Okay, it's very fast. It might be, <laughs> might be too quick for most people. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Let's 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 continue. Not do it again, but let's do the gaming. The game the play the game again. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I can do plus five. And then I get a 20. That's might as well, right? Yeah! Yeah! One, two sounds like a legit Star Wars name, right, Mandolin? I tried. I tried. <laughs> Don't know Mission Z well enough. Yeah, that's true. Don't really know Candorous at all yet. Okay. We are going to keep it coming. Keep it coming. Okay. I guess we'll try one more time. 22 minus 2. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, you guys were definitely... I did not come up with it by myself. <laughs> the Annie one, too, was definitely um, <clears throat> not not all me. <laughs> I had assistance. Okay, set so is tied. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> you like my cards, Godless? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've just been only... That's like one of the only things I've been buying is just Pizzat cards. <laughs> from merchants. <laughs> Bring home the bacon and the maple syrup. I'll try. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, like it was meant to be. No, he tied me. Oh, so rude. So rude to tie me. Jedi, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. My Pesak deck is all my doing, yes. Yes. I've been on the hunt. Okay. I don't know how well it's serving me here, though. Oh, it is serving me here. But now he's gonna tie me, isn't he? No, I win. Okay, this is good. I only need to win one more. I only need to win one more. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what skills? <laughs> Yeah. Now I've won two! Ayy! Okay. This one I have to, um... It's just gotta be luck. Him having two cards, yeah, I think he might come back from, from the dead here. Um, unfortunately. Because I have zero cards, so... Damn it! Okay, let's try again. Anyone can to be a anyone uh, do be. <laughs> oh my goodness, and he didn't use any of his cards. Shit. Shit! He's gonna beat me. He still hasn't used any of his cards. Why am I getting so high so fast? Oh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force? No, I have not. Not yet. Um, should I just end my turn here? 
17. See if he busts, but then he has so many cards. I mean, I guess, but then what if I get a 20? <gasps> twins! Twins! Hello! Thank you for the sub! Four months, twins! Wow! Roses are red, violets are blue, and he destroys planets when I'm not subbed to her! <laughs> we help sometimes, yep. Yeah. She goes to the plants and slaps everyone there, leaves right before Annie shows up and destroys them. It's team effort between Leah and I. It is, yeah. <laughs> oh, why am I getting so high so fast? Hey! And I wasn't even talking about weed. I was talking about my darn numbers. He's always so low. He's got like five. I'm already at 17. Oh my goodness. Oh, a nine immediately, right, Godless? Guys, I think I'm gonna lose this one. I don't know if I should try and stand here, but he's, or if I should try and get a three magically. Stand and hope he goes over, right? That's what I'm thinking I should maybe do, because that's, does that have a higher chance than for me to um, get a three? Okay, you guys agree I should stand. Okay, I'm gonna stand. But he has those cards, but maybe they're plus cards. Shit. <sighs> Oof, indeed. Oof. Oof, guys, sorry. Uh, I lost. That last game was closer than it seemed. Wanna try again? Kinda. <gasps> Quinn! Quinn, thank you for the 420 AO bits. I appreciate that, Quinn. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much. We were close, but no cigar. I don't know, guys. Should I try again? Maybe I'll give it one more try. I'm gonna do one more try. And if I fail this time, then... Then it'll be... It'll be... That'll be all. <laughs> I'll give up. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna clean my room, but then I got high. Yeah. I did my laundry today while high, though, guys. So you can clean and high. It's... You can clean and high! <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, sure. That's how we're gonna word it. You can clean and high at the same time, guys. <laughs> It's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. One more time, guys. You can clean and high. You can. <laughs> oh, Twins, you put in 10 more applications. Hoping tomorrow someone wants to interview. Ooh, shift leads reported you for talking to work. What? Hmm. Time for a new job? Yeah. That sounds, that sounds about right. <laughs> I hope it goes well. Hope it goes well. Higher chance standing, knowing nothing about math. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know anything about math, so. <laughs> more places to, oh, places to buy more cards. Oh, right, I could have talked to him. I could talk to him and buy cards from him, maybe. But let's just do it. We're gonna lose some more money, maybe. Oh, well. Oh, well. <clears throat> Oh, uh, uh, I had to do it, Mr. Aesthetic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> it is what it is, guys. Except my room is, like, so nice and clean, actually, luckily. Okay, um... This is a good start, guys. Good start. Let's keep it coming. Good stuff. Shit. Shit. Hockey mushrooms. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I should just not use any of my cards and just let him win this one. Because even if I do minus five, then I still don't win. And I might just have to use a bunch of cards. <sighs> oh well. Not worth it, yeah? To use your cards, right? Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. <clears throat> you bet against me so I can win. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Asthmatic. Come on, give me the good cards, guys. Give me the good stuff. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, keep it. Ooh, he stopped at 19. Shh. 
it. <laughs> Damn it! I wish that was a plus minus two. Oh. I can tie him? Is it worth it to use a card to tie him? Probably, right? Because otherwise I'm gonna lose. So yeah, okay. We're tied, you bitch. You son of a bitch. Can you use two ones? No, you can only use one. You can only use one card. In two turns. No, because if I end a turn, it's going to bring another card in my deck. Yeah. So, um, we are going to stand. I'm getting good intro card. I've get, I got a one like every time for my first card. It's not bad. Okay, but then we go to 10. Oh, he's at 10 too. 14, okay. Okay. 19. 20. Ugh, damn it. These games are hard. <laughs> These are hard, guys. I guess I just want my whole deck to be plus minus eventually. Maybe that'll make it easier. I got one every time for the first. That's crazy. Every single time. <laughs> like, what are the chances? Okay. Computer totally cheats, Bob. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Oh, 22, 19. He's stopping at 19. 21. Damn it! I have to do another tie? Ugh, okay. Well, another tie it is. Another tie it is. Kill him, take all his cards and money. Ugh, I wish. Yeah, this AI is next level. This act depends a lot on how you build your deck. Yeah, I need to get more plus minus cards, I think. Okay, I didn't get a one for ones. It's a six now. Oh, Obi, good night, Obi. Thanks for hanging. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. I hope we will see you next time. Um, <clears throat> dream of us. <laughs> Don't dream of Pazak, though, because it'll just make you frustrated. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next for us. We got a 19. I mean, this is... Should I just let him win it or should I use my card? I feel like I should just let him win this one because if I use the card he's probably still gonna win. I have no recommend- I have no um what's the word I'm looking for? No guarantee that <laughs> that I would win. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna win this one guys. I don't think I'm going to win. But power of positive thinking, am I right? Strategic loss, yeah. Thanks for lurking, Richie. Thank you. Oh, already at 17? Should I stand and hope that he... Or should I... Because this is my last chance. So I feel like he's going to get higher than... I could try and go higher and use a negative five. And just hope magically that it'll be better. <laughs> Because 17, I could still have a chance, but I just feel like it's very likely since it's my last chance. Your reverse psychology is not working, no. Yeah. Uh, um, I have an 8 out of 10 chance with the negative 5. So I should, you think that I should do another, do another um, card to not bust. Okay. I just, yeah, okay, let's try it. He got 19. Oh, we're just tying him again. <laughs> well, we're still in it, but we have no cards now. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could have actually, oh, I should have tried to, oh no. Because then if I lost, I could have... Yeah, no, we're still in it. Because I could have tried to get a 20, but then... That would have, I would have had to just get a 1. And that's and then I would have maybe lost, lost. And at least I'm in it for another round this way. But there's no way I'm going to win. I can't win two, three rounds against him. Oh, he doesn't have any cards either, though. Okay. 
so that's useful. But he still has two wins on me, so... <sighs> He's totally gonna get a 20. He definitely is. Shit, I don't know what to do! Should I stand at 17 or should I try and do another one? Oh my god. You think I should stand, Spurs? You guys think I should stand? Because it's more likely he's going to go over Yeah, okay. Consensus is stand. Okay, guys. Okay. <clears throat> yes! Hey. Oh! If this is how we win, we're having no cards, I'm doing three rounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This is intense. Okay, I'll stand again at 17, I guess. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, okay. Twins go all and never stand. Okay, guys, now it's neck and neck. But I started with a 10, so... But it's not, it doesn't really matter because... <laughs> stand at 17 again! Okay, we're gonna stand at 17 again. But he's totally gonna get a 20. There's no way. It was another 17. Oh my goodness, there's no way. It all comes down to this, guys. This is the moment. 17 is the lucky number, but is he gonna get higher than a 17? The computer's definitely gonna win. Come on. They're gonna give him a 20. <sighs> okay. Shit! He got 19. Fuck! Oh. We tried our best, guys. We tried our best. <clears throat> okay, that's enough, Pazak. I know, so much hope! So much hope. Oh. I think that's it for now. I need to buy some more cards. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this come time. I lost 240 credits. Okay, but I can apparently buy cards from him. Do you have any cards to sell? He does. As a matter of fact, I do. If you see any you like, I'm willing to part with them. Okay. Would have been good to buy beforehand, right? He likes to create, yeah, the cheating AI. AI. Likes to create a false sense of hope and excitement. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Joel! Jolly Poo, hello! How are you? Seven months! Thank you so much for the sub, Joel! I really appreciate that. Seven months, that's crazy! How are you doing, my friend? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, my lovely friend. <clears throat> Third time's the charm, you guys! Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay, I'll buy some cards and I'll do it one more time. Plus minus four. Um, I didn't have that, I don't think. I'll buy one. And then... Um, do I want to buy a plus minus two and a plus minus? I just want to buy the plus minus ones, I think. And another plus minus five. Maybe I'll just buy enough so I can stock my whole deck with plus minuses. I just bought a lot. Probably too many. Oh. But we'll see. Okay, guys, we'll do one more. One more. Third time's the charm. Since by popular demand. <laughs> we will do one more. Okay, uh, I'll play. Okay, we'll do another 120. Take out one of the plus minus ones. I know, I have too many of them. I'm gonna take out all... I think I'm gonna make everything plus minus, maybe. Although it's kind of nice to have, I don't know. Okay, I'll definitely do a four. I have like three plus minus ones, which I probably don't need. Instead of a plus five, I'm gonna do a plus minus five. Instead of a minus four, I can do a plus minus four. Um, and then, oh wait, this is a, Wait, are these plus ones? Plus one? Plus one? Plus minus one? Plus minus one. Um, then I have plus three, plus three. I have two plus threes. Maybe I want a plus... 
Hmm. Fix my deck, yeah. <clears throat> what do I want to fix it to? <laughs> Jedaboto Wada Nini Bubba? Indeed. Um, do I want to do a plus minus two instead of one of these plus threes, maybe? I feel like negative six is still kind of useful. Plus six. And negative two? <clears throat> a minus two? Do you think that's useful? I have all these plus minus fives and I've only got one in there. Do I want a plus minus five instead of a plus six? It's maybe even more versatile. I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> Another plus minus one instead of a plus minus two. I only have one plus minus two. Okay, I'll try it. <clears throat> instead of the minus two, okay. We'll do plus minus two and then there we go. The versatility. Twos are better than one squares, you think so? Okay, well we have the plus minus. We could do minus two or we could do plus minus one. I already have three plus minus one, I think. Okay. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Once or five, so as long as you don't have too many. Okay. This is okay, I think. I think we did pretty good. Um, okay. Let's keep it going. 17 plus three. Don't mind if I do. A. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Nine off the bat. Don't love that. <clears throat> 10, okay. Keep it going. 11. Nice, nice. Oh, 21, 18. He's stopping at 18. Um, well, I can get a 20, so... Now I might win indeed. Not bad. But now I'll probably jinx myself. <laughs> 14, okay, see this would be nice if I had a plus six. Okay, give me some more, please. 22 minus six. And then I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna risk it, guys. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, 22 minus, oh guys, sorry, I had a minus two. I was looking at it as plus two. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot that I could switch it. Sorry guys, I had it. I had a win. <laughs> Annie prayed indeed. I know I could have gotten a twenty. Wow, how did my brain? That was an ultimate brain fart. Too much weed. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> let's see if it'll bless us again. Okay, I'm gonna try to get one more. We might lose if we lose now because of that. Oh well. Annie brain. Any brain. 18 plus 2. Okay. <laughs> 20. Don't get a 20, please. Don't get a 20. <laughs> we won. He used all his cards. We won. It worked out okay in the end. It worked out okay in the end. Red and blue can be- Yeah, I know. I was- I was a total brain fart on my part, guys. Total brain fart. But we did it in the end. We won. Third time was the charm. Thanks for encouraging me to try again, guys. Oh. Okay, last game was closer than it seemed. Want to try again? No. I'm quitting while I'm ahead. Whew. Okay, got some credits. Still not a- well, we not aren't- we aren't ahead. We're still down 120 credits, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not ahead, no. <laughs> but thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. There's not going to be more people here to play Pazak with, are there? 
There's only so much I can handle. Only so much loss I can handle at once. <laughs> okay. Footlocker. Amazing. What's... Oh, okay. Alan Matale. Can I rob you? No. What's the point of you then? Okay. Hi, Chris. The cheating human likes to drag it out to give it false hope. Hey. Yep. <laughs> Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak How with the council, table. not some servant. Servant? Please I'm leave. a Jedi. Or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. I mean, I'm going to become one. <laughs> I'm going to become a Jedi, guys. I think. I think. Oh, Igloo. Hi, Igloo. Do you saw my brain fart? Why yeah. are you bothering me? Oh, okay. You're the one with the rude behavior, I think. <laughs> Sir, that just scared me. Twins! <laughs> that got me, I fully jumped. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, twins. I appreciate that. Hope everyone's awake. <laughs> Not even a Padawan, no. Oh, but I'll get there, guys. Never become a Jedi, don't say that. Not even a young one. You guys are being so mean to me. I want to be a Jedi. I believe in me. <laughs> Startle me, Richie. Uh-oh. <laughs> what happens to glitters? You get a heart attack. You get a heart attack. You get a heart attack. Training room? Mm -hmm. I want to do some training. I want to be the very best. Da -da 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 -da. Do is my real test. Do 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 do. Pokemon. <laughs> okay, I just want to have a lightsaber. I don't know if I have anything else to upgrade right now. What's this? Training computer. It's gonna let me fight some stuff. Now I'm just delaying this room for Jedi only. Hey, begin training orientation. Welcome, sentient. Apparently, we're training. I am delaying, but I'm training. <laughs> Go back and play Fazak. Sorry. Welcome, sentient. It's important for the peace and harmony of all beings that the many paths of the Jedi Order be understood. Only through knowledge can all see the truth of the Force. Jedi Guardians train for battle and physical prowess. In contrast, Jedi Consulars seek to master the awesome power of the Force. Jedi Sentinels seek to find a balance between these two extremes. Hmm. Show me a statistical comparison of all three classes. Tell me more about everyone. So I'm gonna have to, I, they're gonna let me choose between these, I guess? If I wanna become a, jar, a, a guardian, a consular, or a sentinel? I feel like I'm gonna wanna be a sentinel. No, I don't get to choose? Oh. These are just for lore? Oh. We forbid it. Jedi guardian. Uh, Jedi guardians battle against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus on combat training and masterful use of the lightsaber. Okay, but I kind of want to be masterful. Uh, basic class attributes. Okay, it's just kind of showing you, like, if you do this, you can consider yourself one of these, maybe? Guardian is for lightsaber, yeah? Yeah. I do want to be a lightsaber. A Jar Jardian. <laughs> 10 vitality. Oh, oops. Um, Jedi Guardians gain the Force Jump feat automatically. This feat allows them to instantly close the distance and attack an opponent within 10 meters. Hmm. Jedi Consular. Seek to bring balance to the universe. They focus less on physical combat and more on mental disciplines in order to augment their mastery of the Force. Basic class attributes, 6 vitality, level... 8 Force points per level? Oh. 6 vitality per level? Slow skill progression, slow feat progression. Sentinel. Ferret out deceit and injustice, bringing them to light. They strike a balance between the physical and mental mental disciplines of the Jedi Order. Uh, eight vitality per level. Six force points per level. Average skill progression, slow feet progression. Okay. Huh. huh. Um, Guardians rely heavily on lightsaber, not so much force abilities. I kind of... Like force abilities, they look cool though. Luke Skywalker, hi! If you want to be a force ninja, go with Guardian. Allows you to fly through the air, other classes are boots on the ground. That's kind of cool. Guardian lets you to be allowed to be um, <clears throat> better at lightsabers too, yeah? Force jump sounds pretty cool. Okay. Cool. Um. 
Um, I think I'm supposed to go at this from the other side. <laughs> Central is your favorite, Sirius, like Mass Effect? Oh, Karif, hello. How you doing, my friend? They're waiting for you inside. Uh-oh. They're waiting for me, guys. Ominous. Ominous. They like to put random trees in their decoration. Oh! Look who it is. Vandar Tokar... Tokar. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am special. I am Sha, yes, a X, I, I like Jedi pressing Council. X. Mandolin, I should do it more. Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the Chronicler of our Academy, Chronicler. Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Bastila's only a Padawan? But she's already that powerful? I thought she was like some masterful master. Hmm. Oh, Guardian gets it for free. Others can learn it. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Skyrim tree. Oh. <clears throat> Brooke Vanda Vader. What? Um, what do you want from me? Drown me into your little trap, Bastila. <laughs> Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Mm, what do you want from me? Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Um, yeah, she's a Padawan. Apprentice, then Padawan, then Knight, then Master. Okay. Um, oh, Force Jump can only be learned in Culture 2? Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Okay. Um, what do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Yay! Jedi training! Nothing would give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi. Um, I want to ask more, tell them more about how I'm strong in the Force. Tell me, tell me more about how great I am. I think I'd like to hear that. You're always a guardian, hey Jedi. Oh, supply my hi! Hello, my friend, how you doing? How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. He doubts we me? We need indisputable proof me. of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I've already related yeah, to you the some events that lady took in the place on did. Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. I need that praise, yeah. There is only the Force. <laughs> we all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore Train it? Train me. The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. I have an open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I can do it. Lie, of course, great Jedi. So this is if you are evil. You're lying too old. <laughs> is it because he looks like um, Marin Trant? <laughs> is that why you're saying that, experience? <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> Compliments, please. Yeah, tell him it's a scam. I want my money back. Have I paid him any money? <laughs> the metachlorian count is high must be the weed yeah mm -hmm. ed asner he voiced the old man on up oh did he oh hmm. oh i'm too old to begin the training okay <laughs> oh ed asner hmm there's a Jedi class in this game that has a type of force jump attack lets you lunge is it the guardian Okay, I'm willing to try my best. I'm really, uh, I'm ready to accept the training, and my age has nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Such pride, such oh. arrogance. <laughs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. I was saying that As you were being mean. You were being ageist. Training, Master Vrook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept not adults strays. for training. Though there are rare exceptions in the history rule. of our order, 
but you are a special case. I am special. I agree special. with Master Doran. I'm special. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. Mm -hmm. We need recruits like to Malik. stand against Malak. With Revan dead, <laughs> are you <laughs> certain already, Revan apparently. is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Mm, is that foreshadowing? Master, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Hmm. Okay, that's that, I guess. Trainee Jed High <laughs> incoming, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not Yoda, but Yoda. What is what is that species called? Do we know? Everyone was just calling Grogu Baby Yoda when he appeared. What is this? Another memory? Is that Revan or Malak or something? The dark Malik, side right? is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Uh oh. Where are they? What's is going this wise? On? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Starforge so valuable? Starforge? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Apparently so. Back before he lost his jaw. Yeah, this seems like they're almost still Jedi at this point. We're talking about how they can't go back after this. He's got that Aang color scheme, he does. Ellis, hi! First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Why well, Bastila like did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt oh, urgent, okay. so you shouldn't keep them did waiting. come to some deliberation, I guess. It's not named. Yo, yo, daddy, yo daddy is. They're yo daddies. Yo daddy is, yeah. <laughs> 400,000 years old. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um. What I think of how Terrace got wrecked, that was so sad. But I was hopeful that the underground people would still survive in the Undercity, hopefully. Um, did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall. And for that matter, neither do you. Are you uh -oh. all right? They're infecting us with their Jedi-ness, guys. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, Miss, Miss Piggy, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. Oh, okay. I can't bring Bastila with me? Oh, I can. Why is she grayed out? Currently unable to join the party. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Did it jump ahead, Godless? I think just, um, yeah, it looks like there was a time jump about of them doing their council chatting while I had a nap, I think. <clears throat> Neither Lucas nor Disney has ever revealed about Yoda species. Interesting. I wonder if we'll ever get that information, guys. <clears throat> Got the bad end and lost Bastila. Hey! <laughs> she's just she's just going for a little walk. Um, let's bring Karth and let's bring Mission. I like to talk to them. <laughs> and we can level up. We can level up, level up, level up. Level up. Okay. A okay. Yeah. Karth's gonna be killing it, guys. <clears throat> All strong in the forest. Strong in the forest, guys. I think I want to do one of these ones. Master, rapid shot, or power blast. I think I'm gonna do this one extra. Master rapid. Yeah, master. O2 weapon? Mm. 
Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> okay. Leveling up mission. Her skills. Oh, she's got a lot to do. Her demolition, her stealth, her... Yep. Maybe make her good at some computer use, too. Okay. Sneak attack. Okay, nice. Leveled up. Looking good, guys. Looking good. <clears throat> I love mission two, godless. I do. Um, okay. I'm here. Be me. And I don't, I guess, oh! Mission seems rather distant. It's been a while since I chatted with her, I guess. They don't want the galaxy to know it could put them in danger. Oh, interesting. Of course, the soldier still will get a lot more feats and feats. <laughs> Both kinds of feats. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, I yeah. was thinking about Terrace. How it Still exploded. can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's, it's, it's just gone. Yeah. Malik will pay for any for what he did. Yeah, we'll get payback. We will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. The Jedi got rid of Revan, so I figure Malik's days are numbered too. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know. Look. I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just be sad it's a losing shock, your home. you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend yeah. dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's She's what it comes to down to. So to don't worry others. about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Thanks, Mission. Palpatine would have wiped them out? Mm. Well, good thing that didn't happen. At least, hopefully not everyone's been wiped out. Fingers crossed, guys. Didn't seem that populous, Boreas. Kotor's two companions, you like them more, Godless? Mm. But Kotor ones are nicer and more likable. Interesting. They do all seem like nice people so far. I don't really know Candrus very well, but... One of the best companions ever! Sandstorbot, hi! I wonder if it's a companion that I've met already. Because if not, <laughs> no spoilers. Um, should we talk to this lady again? Is she just going to say the same stuff to us? I'm really a Jedi now. Maybe. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force... Same. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Candace is a G.I. Joe. <laughs> he is a G.I. Joe. Turned me off entirely. I mean, yeah, he's kind of a... Well, he looks like an old man. <laughs> Droogie Drew, hi! Hi, Droogie Drew. How's it going? Welcome in, my friends. No spoilers. Good stuff. Kotor had some banger companions. I'm enjoying them, guys. Um, I'm glad... Glad... Oh. <laughs> Alice, is that your response to mission? <laughs> Take it, take her to the, the asteroid field that Mastilla is her has planet. Told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. We have a vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. Oh Dantui. yes, the one These we just These ruins had. have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely what? burial mounds. You didn't know Perhaps what they were. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. Hmm. How did she know it was a joint dream? Yeah, how would Basil know if we shared a dream? I'm so confused. <clears throat> she says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown he was about to tell me something between two people else. strong in the forest. Not ever since Taurus. Mastilla has described this shared dream to the council it's something else. in great detail. They're hiding something from me. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting Maybe that's why it was on the ship. As it acts through Bastila. Bastila knew about me before and she's just pretending not to. Yoda got censored. He did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ellis, it was her home, though. Come on. Gotta have some compassion. Um, I am having visions now. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. And each other. Why to each other? This is not unheard of. She like my Connections sister secretly often or form something? between master and student. Oh. But rarely does a bond I'm develop student. so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. 
together. Weird. I'm joined with her. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. <laughs> together, My girlfriend. you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you okay. must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? My twin sister, she could be. We look kind of similar, right? <laughs> <clears throat> she was on the inner spy with me, right? So, but then we were also, there's also questions about why I was transferred onto the inner spy in the first place. Maybe, maybe Basla was feeling connections since before then. Um... I'm ready for whatever awaits me. I will try my best. I'll try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Their dark dick. <laughs> that sounded... <laughs> <clears throat> he's a dick and he's on the dark side. That's what I meant by that. <laughs> Um, Jedi are turning to the dark side, yes. <laughs> oh, Lottie. Oh, Lottie. <laughs> uh, hi, Demon Flayer. We're in KOTOR number one. This is KOTOR number one. So no spoilers for KOTOR two, but we might play it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Rook's got a chillax. Yeah, the council is shipping us. They are. <laughs> <clears throat> Only hetero romance says, but then so someone else said that you could have a bis uh, or a, a lesbian romance in this game. Um, Chris Bastila probably looked at all the recruits and thought, damn, <laughs> gotta get her to spend more time with me. Feeling something. <clears throat> um, Jedi are the dark the side. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, that, not seen we for a thousand that. generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate Ooh, the ancient ruins you yes. dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready, I want perhaps to investigate there some you will find ruins. some clue. I will be an archaeologist for the day. Some of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there corrupted. you shall find a way I'm to not gonna stop get corrupted. Them. I don't want to get corrupted. I do feel the dark to... Best look on a glimpse of that cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She did. Feeling something. It wasn't the force. <laughs> oh, there's a lesbian somewhere, hey? Yeah. Norway, hi! I'm not a Jedi yet. No, but I'm, I'm going to get there soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, okay. I'm ready. Let's do it. Dangerous by middle name. The Let's do it. Like no student we have ever oh, seen. fun guess. Did that need to be deleted? I thought I was just asking if it was KOTOR too. The force, Before we send oh yeah, you to investigate okay. the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Doomed to fail. I will not be Seth. Oh, it had a name. Oh, I didn't recognize the name. <laughs> all good, all good. How long this game is, Godless? Is it? It's long, right? It's kind of long. Mhm. Mm oh, Shadow. I will be Seth. I will be Seth. We'll see. <laughs> How are you, Shadow? <laughs> Um, okay, I would like to be trained in the ways of the Jedi. I would. Yes, please. You must please. begin your training at once. Yay, You have training. a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. 
the entire fate of the galaxy is upon Let's you. Let's get trains. Training montage. Up to the task. Training the montage. The path you have chosen to walk wow, is difficult. Wow, this is a training montage. <laughs> Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the order. <laughs> Meditation will teach oh. you to channel the power of the Force. Training montage. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, training you montage. must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Seeking order. Seeking wisdom. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Special. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. Okay. And then we're gonna go do some exploring. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Whoa. Yet even I'm though floating. you are a mere apprentice, your potential is go. unlimited. Cool. And your progress, amazing. Nice. I'm In doing well, Shadow. Years, thank you. I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. And you were being so ageist towards weeks, me. What many cannot do in years. See, maybe you should recruit more adults. <laughs> I am honored to welcome you fully. <gasps> Guys, I'm a Jedi. Jedi order. Guys, I'm a Jedi. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. The lowest rank of those within the Jedi hey, Order. Lowest rank. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Guys, we did it. Training montage. No, wait. Too late. <laughs> too late. <clears throat> Ellis became evil. We're going to be nice, though. You love the music? Reminds you of Guild Wars. <gasps> I used to play so much Guild Wars, Godless. Guild Wars was my life for years. <laughs> uh, I just have to save the galaxy, amnesiac person, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Jedi lore. I'm all about the lore, guys. Notchaholic, hi! Welcome in! I uh, heard the new Jedi game is going to require an internet DL DLD? What does that mean? A download or something? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, um... I want to ask some questions. What must I do to prove myself? How do I prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests, three tests okay. before you earn your place among the Jedi. Uh, what kind of tests? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given both mental and physical. Okay. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to padawan I'm and join in the tests, ranks guys. of the Jedi. First, I will them. test your knowledge of the Jedi code. Oh. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything <laughs> okay. you do, you must do always be code? conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Okay. Return when you I'm feel you are ready for, for this challenge. Yet. That's challenge number one, I guess. Not ready for that challenge yet. I will Jed die. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Physical copies of KOTOR and KOTOR 2 are going to go up in value. Oh, interesting. Huh. Not that I have a, phys a physical copy, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> your, your main was a ranger. Mine too, godless. Mine too, actually. I love the ranger armor. <laughs> Notchaholic. Physical copies don't contain the files? What? Filled up the Hall of Monuments on his. Never quite did that much. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think I was that skilled, guys. <laughs> okay. Let me look at my quests. Jedi trials. So I have to go ask some people about the Jedi code, I think. So I can learn. How to answer his questions. Let's go talk to the counselors, maybe? <clears throat> Those seem like good people to ask about the Jedi Code, I think. Middle Earth, Rise of the Witch King. Oh, I don't think I have anything. No level up. No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Jedi Code, nobody said anything about programming. <laughs> Right? I don't know how to do that. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council oh, members. Fine. fine then. The armor. The long trench coat. Cat was a big cat. Your pet was a big cat. You forget the breed. I think that my pet was also a big cat. 
Or like a bear or something. I can't remember actually. Something big. Something big. Yeah, I think it was a cat maybe. Okay. <laughs> the good old days, guys. Okay. Greetings, young apprentice. Have Guild you come Wars. seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. They do. As a chronicler of the academy it. here on Dantooine, I feel it chronicler. is my duty ah, to share the history of our info. order with the newly initiated. <clears throat> Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and There's bloodshed. A lot of that. It's gonna the Mandalorian be a lot of that Wars, <laughs> the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. We do not wish to repeat the mistakes. We do not. Affect mind and dominate mind for conversation. That sounds like dark side stuff, Farmer Bob. <laughs> I'll look into it though. I will look into it, Jedi Coat. Krypton, hi! Drop and say hi, hello, hello. How's the game going? It's going well, I'm officially almost a Padawan. I have to complete trials and then I'm gonna be officially a Padawan. I'm excited. We're just prepping for the trials right now. Mm -hmm. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for Tell thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with Exar the War Kun. of Exar Kun. I already heard about him a little like bit. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and yes. led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Naughty, Exar naughty. Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. Um, and what does this have to do with Revan and Malak? Oh, I think I might sneeze, guys. Oh my. Oh. Excuse me. Jack Stein, hi. How are you? How far am I? Um, I just made it to Dantooine. Just made it to our second planet, and we're doing some Jedi training now. Bless me. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to sleep. Good night, Supply My High. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate you. So lovely. <clears throat> um. All things in time. Oh, you shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small Those worlds on the outer rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. Hmm. That, that seems like you're just, yeah, avoiding a problem that's just gonna grow. Uncensored Mike! Or Uncensored Mick? Welcome in! Thank you so much for the follow! How you doing? Have you played this game? Um, bless this Annie. <clears throat> uh, where bright lights cause it. I don't, I have a friend who does have that godless where she sneezes whenever she, we walk outside. <laughs> but no, I, um, I can usually look at bright lights without sneezing, thankfully. Thankfully, <clears throat> had a nice productive day, Krypton, that's good. Thank you for saying hi and for lurking, I appreciate it. Okay, uh, they should have protected them, I agree. Kotor's is awesome, I was right the first time, uncensored Mike. Okay, amazing. Welcome in. Yeah, it's my very first time playing Kotor, I'm having fun though. Psionic is the Senate, apparently. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind. Nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians unavoidable. stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate Fancy sectors pants. of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. There we go. <clears throat> uh, do the, doesn't the Jedi usually do what the Senate does, or no? Photosensitivity, is that, that's, what's, that's what's called? That makes you um, sneeze? There you go. There you go, guys. You learn something new every day. The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before mm. we allowed ourselves to be drawn into okay. another conflict. 
so Pushing soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Army Council Jedi. preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, mm. Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against Blood the wishes thirsty. of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered but. unconditionally. Here comes the but. Uh, your first name is actually said when you read your Twitch out loud. Oh, uncensored Mike? Mike? <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, Jenny said no. Witness, hi, Witness. How are you? How's it going? How's it going? Nice to see you. Uh, Revan did the right thing. How did Revan fall to the dark side then? Yeah. Um, not necessarily sneezing, but any reaction to bright light. Oh, well, I squint. <laughs> <laughs> I squint. You sneeze so many times when going out in the sun. Really? Three to six times, Godless. Wow. The man Delorean. The man. Delorean. Mm -hmm. Revan and Malak were heroes. The great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning What's after the, the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went their power. deep into unexplored space. They went full they Julius Caesar on their the asses. last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. Mm. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that Growing were never confirmed. Mike, you're gonna be lurking. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uncensored Mike, thanks for lurking. Thank you, thank you. It is you're doing sleepy. Hopefully uh, you can get some sleep soon. <laughs> Saracen, hi Saracen, hello, how are you? How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Um, hope you're having a good day. Malachi, hi Malachi, how are you? Hello, my friends, my Perhaps biggest fan. they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three mm -hmm. years ago, Revan and Malak hyperspace. returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become Sith a Lord. conqueror. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Unless you're making nummy things. Let's see, Annie and we just played Dead Island 2. I've never even heard of that. Dead Island 2, huh. Huh. Would it be a fun one? Revan or Malak is Elvis. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay. Where did Revan get the ships? How did Revan get so many followers? He just was posting those reels, guys. Posting those TikToks. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no spoilers. Thanks, Shadow. Uh, you will miss us next month. You're going to focus on license exam classes. Oh, well, Saracen, good luck. Study, study up. I hope you do very well. Um, where did he get the ships? Followers, ships, ships. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those Phineas. that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien, alien design, design we've so never got seen. So a backer of some the sort. The source of this massive fleet is mm. one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. Mm. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, Ooh, the bulk of the force were former Republic really? soldiers who had served mm -hmm. under Revan. With each conquest, Inspires thousands more flock loyalty. to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. I mean, I like riches, but I don't want to be evil. The Reapers, yeah, it's the Reapers. <laughs> Elvis isn't dead, he went back to his home planet. Ah, I see. So they are Elvis. Got it. Just disappeared for a little bit. <laughs> That's all. Uh, what happened next? For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed Which the Republic to win understand. a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan. 
as you probably know. She I was there at Evan's end. I that was saw nearly a year ago. But things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for Dark himself. Dark Lord. Though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Mm. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we, we do not find lackey. some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will now. overwhelm us with sheer numbers. I wonder if Revan's really dead, guys. I wonder. <clears throat> Wants riches but always gives the money away. Yeah, in it's okay. I want riches in real life. In a game, I can just give it all away and feel good about myself. <laughs> a TikTok of Revan and Malak lip syncing to the music from the creative character scene. I like to see it, Dark Lord. Yeah, never too late to be evil, but it makes me sad. It makes me sad. <clears throat> Battle meditation is a poorly explained plot de plot device. Yeah, you don't learn too much more about it. Um, what can I learn from Revan's history? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You, you must power, always be on guard against the evil all. that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. Be on guard, guys. Revan's in the chat right now, yeah. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Don't badmouth Revan. <laughs> <clears throat> Revan kickstarted his fleet, yeah. <laughs> a backer, yeah. He's got a patron. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Suspenseful music. Who indeed? The Sith? <laughs> Think on this. Uh, where are the Academy's archives? This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. Why are you hiding the we knowledge? We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed mm. to dangerous okay, knowledge. Okay. The pursuit of knowledge is Dr. a noble Strangent, goal, though. but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. I'm you should ponder the, the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the okay. Sith. Okay. Um... I'll find a way to stop the Sith. Your confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. Why am I always These arrogant whenever I have confidence side. in myself? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must yes. always be on guard against the evil that dwells I will be within on you. Guard. Think hard upon this lesson. Hiding shit, got it. Got it? Yeah, they're hiding shit from me. May the Force be with you. Okay. I'm a Padawan, but I'm still a scrub. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need to know more about how to pass this test. Time to talk to our our, our Yoda friend, who's not Yoda. Bandar Tokar. Tokar. Mm -hmm. Battle is a bad time to meditate. Meditate, probably. Good evening, Maybe. apprentice. Yeah. Unless you're a Jedi, your I guess. Goes well. My training uh, is quite well, but I also would like to seek knowledge of the Jedi Code and ask you some questions. I want to do it all. Mm -hmm. uh, you like the slow talking, but you wonder why they made the choice. Oh. Who knows, guys? I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar Thanks. is He's most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, apprentice. I'll try my best. That's good evening, talk. apprentice. I need to talk to me more. I trust your training I need to talk to you well. about more stuff, please. Hydrate. Thank you, Jedi. Thank you. They might realize the Jedi are frauds if they have too much knowledge. Uh oh. The soldiers feel like they can win and predict the other side's moves. Oh, interesting. And the other side feels so it's like morale. It just affects morale. Playing chess and knowing all the moves. That is nice. They have it in the comics too, and it's better explained. Okay, I seek knowledge about the Jedi, Jedi code. Must know the code. We gotta know this, guys. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, I'm gonna think. apprentice. I'm listening. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. <laughs> Can Master I listen to that again? <laughs> most impressed with your progress. May the force be no with passion you, sounds sad. Oh, journal entry. Okay, he told me in journal form. There is no emotion, there is peace. So don't be emotional, be peaceful. 
There is no ignorance. There is knowledge, even though they're trying to keep us ignorant. Jeez, Louise. Not letting us read the books unless we're masters. Um, <clears throat> there is no passion. There is serenity. Serenity now. But no passion. No passion, guys. I have to control my feelings, apparently. Jeez. Um, we're talking about Klingons? <laughs> <laughs> Jedi or Vulcan, Sith or Romulus. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Uh, novelization of Return of the Jedi in the Thrawn novel trilogy as well. Okay, interesting. Tales of the Jedi comics. So it's got some, some history. What's Yoda species called anyways? We don't know, apparently. Apparently we don't know. I asked that earlier. <laughs> Morale boost. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um... There's no chaos, there is harmony, there is no death, there is the force. Ooh, wee, ooh. I'm pretty sure people still die, but you know. Jedi Code was introduced in the real book for Star Wars RPG game published in 1987. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I will try to control my feelings. Shadow. Haroon, hi Haroon, how you doing? We're just trying to finish some Jedi trials. Good evening, I had apprentice. something else to ask him questions I about, though, I think. Goes <laughs> Rap, hi! Am I sounding dark side? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just like to have some freedom, guys. I don't need all these rules. Can I just be, like, in between? <laughs> the Jedi Code started with peace is a lie. Oh. Interesting. Interesting, guys. <clears throat> the council would piss me off when they told her I couldn't read books, right? Right? Like, that's way going way too far. That's my, like, one happiness in life. Okay, wait, I've got, like, more hair in my eyeballs now. Not just in my nose. Okay, I think we're okay. Um, I'd like to ask some questions. I I must ever be seeking knowledge. Seeking what is knowledge, it you but they're not- know? Why don't you give me the books? Why don't you give me the books, guys? Um, what can you tell me about Bastila? Ooh, yes, why are we so connected? They're goblins, that's what they're called, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> People think it's cool to hate on the Jedi. Oh, cause it, wait, the Jedi code is written in KOTOR is the worst part of this game's writing. Oh, really? No one ever said Jedi don't feel emotions or never feel passionate. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my eyeball. So it's not represented the same way in other lore, hey? The Yodas, yeah, that's what they call. They are called the Yoda goblins. Okay, tell me about tell me about Bastila, please. Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the masters in the council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the She's art of battle the skills, meditation. Guys. Bastila was there Too when passionate Bastila for Yoda. <laughs> Did you know that? Yes. I knew it. I had I saw it in a memory. I saw it in a memory. Oh, is there an accidental spoiler? It happens. Eyeball hair, sorry, yeah, witness. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Um, yeah, space goblins. If George Lucas told his kids the truth about Yoda species, maybe. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. We saw this. We she saw was this. accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her no! feelings aside. Twins, for the hello! Sake of the galaxy and the Republic. Count Dooku was a visionary! <laughs> strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. I the kind of agree with Count Dooku sometimes, guys. Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. May the Force Is there be anything with you. else you would like to know? Amazing. Amazing. It's me, Dwins. It's a me. <clears throat> the Senate is full of schwabbing bureaucrats. Hey. I like the Yodadians as well, yeah, as a name. Um, Master Vrook doesn't seem to like me very much. Master Vrook may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you hey. finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead Tough will love. be difficult Tough for love. young Bastila. And for you. How young but you is must Bastila? draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. And is there anything you. else you would like to know? Yes, tell me about Revan and Malak. I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits Pride go with before the fall, guys. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger 
Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And when Revan fell to the dark side, mm -hmm. it was inevitable Malak so would fall as well. So it's gonna be like me and what what um, Basla does I do? Are we the new Revan and Malak? How do you do a battle meditation? I don't know. I don't know. A pole saber? <laughs> Dooku didn't rat out Palpatine, if only. Rip quest for Lee. Yeah. Wonder if Dooku was hoping that Obi-Wan would become his Sith apprentice and they would kill Palpatine together. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yoda looks like a Ninja Turtle in retirement. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um... Revan was stronger than Malak. Revan was responsible for Malak's fall. Revan was always the leader. The more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role and has embraced the Maybe. dark side power as fully as his old like, master ever did. Do they have, like, force ghosts now, that appear Malak to the Sith, leads too? the Sith armada against the Republic. Hate vengeance for his master's Maybe death ghost draw Malak him. ever further down the path of the dark side fueling his powers until they surpass mm -hmm. those of his old master ah, only surpass. you and Bastila They're together can stop Malak now Got the it. way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila and for you but you must draw strength, draw strength from, from each, each other. other no it's not Yoda <laughs> it's not you. Yoda is there anything else you would like but to know but he looks like Yoda um, I don't remember what his name is. I'll have to look at it. It is, um... Very well. May the Force be with his you. His name is Vandar Toker. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that is his name. <laughs> no core worlds are like, no, we need more planets to tax in the mid and outer rims to furnish our core lifestyle and buggery. Give us money, Pimp Daddy Dooku. <laughs> oh, Dooku. Holocrons. Fake ghost. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Darkseid has a different way of doing things, indeed. Okay, Vruk? A ghost, guys. A ghost. A g, -g, -g, -g ghost <clears throat> Uh, yeah. You don't have to answer my questions if they're gonna be spoilers. I, see you I usually just, like, wandering the halls don't of our expect enclave. an answer it most of the time. You be busy studying your lessons. <laughs> just throw things into the abyss. See what hits the wall, you know? <clears throat> a TikTok air. Oh, he's on that TikTok, guys. My training's going well. It appears that soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. I was wondering why he had a last name too. Progress, but I cannot doesn't. help but wonder if you move forward too quickly. Too quickly. He's worried that I'm gonna. He's worried that I'm gonna be the next Revan, Malik, or um, Exar Kun. Yeah, Yoda's eccentric like that. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave. Don't be mean to me. Um, I seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. You do not know the Jedi Code. He's gonna say code the same thing, isn't he? Without knowledge of those doctrines, An alias. all your training oh, maybe. will be for naught. Yo 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 all Yo Jedi Yo must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. knowledge. There is no passion. We're just really getting it nailed into us, guys. Exar Kun, no yeah. Chaos. We are Exar Kun now, guys. Okay. There is no death. There, there is, is the, the force. force. We'll be good without Learn your shadow. Learn these truths, apprentice. <laughs> we'll try. We shall all regret the decision to accept you into the order. Okay, regret the decision. We don't want that to happen. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would want to ask you some questions. I suppose such desires are inevitable. <laughs> so I fear Yoda, you may Yoda. seek knowledge for, for which Master. you are not prepared. Master Yoda. Yet I will do my best to guide your quest. He's so suspicious of me. <clears throat> oh, he's not... He doesn't like speaking in third person. Like our Yoda. Um, careful what you, wish, what you wish for when asking questions. Yeah, I know. I ask all the questions. Um... What can you tell me about Bastila? Bastila, the young Jedi holds great promise and great danger. Sometimes the voice she actors don't She can do much how to say for the both the Republic and the Council. Without her skill in battle meditation, the Sith Armada would have conquered the galaxy long ago. True but that, despite her guys. command of the Force, Bastila is still young. 
There, he said it right She's that time. She's a Jedi, but she has not attained the rank of Master. The Council would do well to remember this before we lay the fate of the galaxy on her slender shoulders. Slender shoulders. You would do well to focus more closely on your lesson. Very well. The Force is strong Don't need you, to tell but me. you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. I'm not gonna hurt you guys. I see you insist on be... wandering the hall. I'm gonna be good. It's such a sexist pissed pig, her slender shoulders. Hmm, it's a little questionable, hey? <laughs> so Hanek says, fact the code. Not a fan of the Jedi code, hey? pre kotor Ivor. Yeah, thank you, Godless. I appreciate that. Trying not to spoil for me. Um, questions? Ice. Revan Malik. Revan was once a promising Padawan. But ever eager to learn more about the Force, Revan sought knowledge of ancient Sith magics, foolishly ignoring the dangerous foolishly. lure of the dark side. You've never heard when of saying slender shoulders? Maybe he only says it to ladies. Revan seized the opportunity it presented. Many Jedi flocked to the Outer Rim to follow the charismatic young knight, and many fell under the sway of the dark He's side. He's like a cult leader, basically. That charisma. Whispers kill them all. <laughs> um, master has mastered the ways of the Force. Mastered it. Mastered it. I do not believe Revan and Malak were corrupted on the Outer Rim. They had begun yeah. their journey down the Dark Path oh, you never long talked to him. <laughs> before the Mandalorian threat appeared. Here on Dantooine... They discovered a sinister cave. We're gonna go a in place the sinister cave, Where the guys. strength of the dark side overwhelms the light. Perhaps this discovery was what first corrupted them. Or perhaps they sought the cave out because they were already corrupted. They were Whatever the explanation, point in our turn. the Order was unable to turn them back to the light. Had the Council taken more decisive action in this matter, perhaps Revan and Malak could have been stopped. But in this we failed. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong yes, with yes, you, yes. but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, I will. lest you suffer I a fate train. similar to that of Revan. Weird Al Yankovic parody of the song. King? Oh, King Song Lola? I don't know that one. I know Lola, I don't know the Weird Al Yankovic parody. Don't grant her the rank of master because of her slender shoulders. Yeah, why is he so into her shoulders, Coffee? I don't know. I don't know. Bastille, you heard that? <laughs> Last time the council decided to not grant someone the title of Master, we know how that turned out. That's true. That is true. Okay. I think I can go do my little test now, right? Unless there's other people to talk to. But I don't think that there is going to be. Laya, are you going to say anything different or the same stuff? Greetings, apprentice. Oh, Though apprentice. I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon oh, he know. feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? So is Bastila going to be a Padawan at the same time as me? Interesting. Um... I'm still learning the Jedi code. Is she gonna say the same thing to me? All Jedi must know the code. She's gonna say Its it again. tenets are the fundamental teachings Fungus of loves our her. order. There is no Alaya. emotion. Let's go to the cave. Peace. Cave and become evil. There is no, no ignorance. Good. There is knowledge. There is no passion. I'm trying to really ace there this test, serenity. guys. There is no chaos. There is harmony. harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. The think force. and meditate on these okay. truths, apprentice. Okay, you I ever think I'm really ready to for it. Obsession over title sounds like attachment. Uh oh, guys. Am I becoming a Sith? Am I becoming a Sith? Okay, I think I'm ready to do the test. This only trial, only the first trial. Only the first trial. One of many. Padawan needs a haircut. Oh, need, they need to have a bad haircut to be considered a Padawan. Yeah. Oh, I haven't saved yet. Saved. There we go. Let's try it. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the I'm Jedi? I'm here to take the first... Um, I'm ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. 
the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. I want it. I want first, the title, you guys. Prove yourself no, let's with braids. In the traditions I'll, I'll get and one. customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before I you earn your place the among tests. the Jedi. Bowman! Bowman? Bowman? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. How you doing? Have you played this game? It's my very first time playing. I'm ready for the tests. At least for the first one. I'm at least ready for the first test. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I? I will, will I? test your knowledge Am of the I? Jedi code. I don't know, serious. These tenets must always guide your actions. Okay, here we go, guys. In everything you do, you must always Almost 4, be conscious years of years before the wisdom. battle of Yavin. You must now prove you have a Jedi's a understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of okay. our order. There is no them. emotion. There is no emotion. There is um peace, right? Because knowledge, serenity, is a response to passion, isn't it? Passion is, there's no passion, there's serenity. I've already forgotten them. I think it's peace. I think it's peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is knowledge. Bowman, you haven't played this one, but you played the second one many times. Ah, oh, best written of the Star Wars games. I've heard good things. I have heard, heard good things. The warm side is evil? <laughs> okay, there is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is order. I thought it was chaos is order. There is no chaos, there is harmony? I thought it was order. Harmony? There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, Did Apprentice. It. it will not be long before yeah. you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second first try. test and learn okay, about the, the most prized test? possession of a Jedi, the very symbol <gasps> of our order. A lightsaber, the thanks light. for the applause. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. I want to use a lightsaber. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, Can focused by polished own? crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber own. with her own hands. And now it is your time. E Speak with Master Dora, e and he will guide you through the choosing cool. of the crystal. Cool, cool. I get to make a lightsaber. Nice. Kotor lore was fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Being a Sith isn't a bad thing. But then I feel like you have to work for bad people. <laughs> Which I don't want to do. Although I do agree with a lot of the stuff that they say against Je Jedi's. Because I think they do need a bit of an overhaul. Uh, who am I sp speaking to? Dorak. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. I have. He sees great promise in you. As I want I. a lightsaber. The time has come for you to choose Serenity the color of your lightsaber. is a completely different sci-fi franchise, which I also love. This color love. also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Oh. The color of your lightsaber reflects your demeanor and position within the order. What positions are there? <laughs> what colors are there? Why do I get set with a single color? Can I have a rainbow? A rainbow, guys? Imagine playing this as a 13 year old. <laughs> Mr. Racer Time, hi. How are you? Didn't have to imagine. I would like to play this as a 13 year old, but sorry. Gotta add a few years onto that. <laughs> <clears throat> Underappreciated, yeah, Ellis. Firefly, Serenity, so good. Okay, what colors? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. Ah, this Jedi battles against I, the forces so of I do evil get to pick. the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Okay. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills mm. and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi I thought they were going to offer me a red one. <laughs> this Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. Okay. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Hmm. Wow, I have to pick right now? Guys. 
pink. I wish I could make a pink lightsaber. I actually kind of want an orange lightsaber, but oh well. Oh well. Why work with bad people? Work for yourself. Overthrow them and rule the galaxy. <laughs> but I think if you have to do that, you kind of are probably going to become a bad person. You can change the color later, can you? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so consular is force powers. Sentinel is skills. Force skills. And guardian lightsabers. I kind of want to be really good at lightsabers. You can't change your class, hey? Iceman, hi! I will hydrate, thank you. What is the fortune between a record holding hunter and fisherman? The hunter lies in wait, the fisherman waits and lies. Oh. <laughs> Shots fired on the fisherman, guys. Okay, so a uh, Jedi class. Sneak your lightsaber somewhere in your prison purse and it goes off. Wouldn't be good, guys. <laughs> uh, Sentinel's balance between sabers and force powers. I feel like maybe Sentinel, then. Might be what I want. Because a force wizard also sounds really cool, though. Being a consular. Because I could still use... If I become a consular, can I still go use my lightsabers, or am I never going to? I wonder. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Mr. Waste Your Time, and I, am I a PhD? No, I'm not. <laughs> I do have a um, bachelor's degree. <laughs> with distinction, graduated with distinction, I do not have a PhD. I can't tell if that's um, joking about my intelligence or actually saying I'm intelligent, but either way, thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know what to choose. Blue courage, green wisdom, red power, purple motherfucker. <laughs> Sentinel is the weakest, you think, Fungus? Hmm. Uh, once you rule the galaxy, you can appoint someone to run the galaxy for you. Focus on your own hobbies. Immortality. Oh, that's nice. You can be decent at melee with Sentinel. Okay. Sentinel's the most powerful, Spurce. Are you trying to trick me? <laughs> People seem to forget that if you go dark side, you become a mindless demon or worse, unless you're once in a millennium kind of legend. Oh, interesting. I'm more like GED. <laughs> you can see me being a professor. I actually um, almost became a teacher. And when I was in Eng my um, English degree, in university, they invited me to join the, like, special English program, like, the, the super focused one, which, like, is what people who are kind of going to, like, become professors or, like, stay in, in um, that kind of world do. So apparently other people have, have also been like, you should be a professor, but I didn't actually join the program, but it was cool to get invited to it. Because you have to be like one of the top, you have to be like at the top of your classes, I guess, and like maybe be recommended by one of your professors or something. I don't really know, but it was cool. Uh, with Sentinel, you get some immunities and more force power than a guardian. Force speed makes up for not having force jump. Oh, I do like speed. Sentinel's your favorite, Spurious. I'm kind of leaning towards Sentinel because I like a bit of variety. A little bit of variety. Um, Samuel Jackson, yeah, that's why he's the motherfucker. I got it. <laughs> no wrong choices with any of the three. You can build a great set. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, very well spoken. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Waste Time, thank you. I think it's probably because I read so many books. I think that, um, I've just read so many books that it helps mm, me be good at communicating sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you can follow my train of thought. Okay, I think then I want to be a sentinel, guys. I think. I think so. You can get leap as a feat. Okay. Force speed does not make up for force jump, says Jedi. Hmm. Well, I like speed. I don't know if I want to jump anyways. But I think that... Um, maybe I'll do a sentinel, I think, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Indeed, we shall see. 
I will now ask oh. you questions, and your responses okay. will indicate which class you lean most towards. I thought that I was going to have to towards. A woman and her small right child there. are beset oh, by a okay. desperate-looking group it's of thugs. It's going to give me a personality quiz. They're menacing her <laughs> with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Wow. Um... I stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. Attack the thugs or help them flee. Um... I mean, I guess I can find out why they're attacking her. Because what if they have a good reason? But it's a woman and a child, so I mean, like, I'm probably gonna attack the thugs, but maybe I should, like, get clarification first. <laughs> I'll get caught, so you think so, Fungus? Hmm. Um, I word very goodly. Indeed, witness. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Very well. <laughs> On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Attack him again. Find out why he turned the dark side. Try to turn him. Try to see a weakness in his technique. I'm gonna try and turn him. I'm gonna use my magical power of discourse. Yes, I suspected as much. I feel like I'm just now talking to people. <laughs> there is a locked door, <laughs> and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Um, I pick the lock. Yeah. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. Uh -oh. I have a feeling about have what you would be best for at. All of them? But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Um, coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators, lure them into a trap, or hunt them down. Um... Hmm. Most aggressive sponsors are guardian. Only guardians can get force drop. Any of the classes can get force speed. Okay. Uh, button to not have to walk up to enemies. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> we found some old, old OG Xbox gaming stuff from your old G Xbox gaming days, Ellis. That's exciting. The throwback. Kill the younglings, yeah. Run for Senate. Run, ring the election. Become the Senate. Uh, I don't know what to choose for this one. I'm gonna lure them into a trap, I think. Or coordinate with the planetary government, but what if they're working? What if they're, they've infiltrated the government? But that would actually be to identify them. Um... I need to do more than identify them. Let's lure them into a trap. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a hey, Jedi Hey! I got what I wanted! <laughs> you believe yourself most suited to? That's what I said! That's what I said, guys. I said I wanted to be a sentinel, and I got a sentinel. Let's go. Let's do it. <clears throat> Sentinels are very crafty. Well, that's what I like to do. <laughs> Declare emergency powers. Become emperor. Okay, I would like to be a sentinel. Here is a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and yellow. he will instruct Perfectly you on how to construct all things should be. I am Thanos. Oh, there's my level up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Do I want to do a treat injury level up? I kind of do. Because health is good. And... I feel like I have to use a lot of med packs, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Oh, it only costs one point? That used to cost me two points, I thought. Hmm. Um, Jack of all trades, master of none, yeah. Sentinels are crafty, they get a free Hobby Lobby membership. <laughs> do all Sith use red lightsabers? I don't know. Um,. Caden, Caden, <laughs> is it Caden? Is that you mean Karth? He'd have to be a Jedi, right? Uh, okay, maybe we'll do one more in persuasion. I just want to be very persuasive, always. And then feats. Whoa, weapon proficiency, lightsaber. Yes, yes, yes. Jedi defense, force immunity, fear. Jedi sense, force sensitive. I got all this stuff, guys. This is so exciting. Hydrate, thank you. Did someone say feats? Mr. Racer Time is here for the feats. 
a class skill. Master of all. Guys, I would like to become master of all. Treat injury as a class feat for Sentinel. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's what you mean. That's why. Class skill. Okay. Nice. I'm glad. Bring on the Sentinel immunities. Yeah. Yes, please. So, what's all this goodies I've gotten? Basic training the use of lightsaber. I think that I should um, do this one. A plus one attack bonus with lightsabers. I think that that's the way to go right at the beginning here. I think that I should become good at lightsabers. And then I'll do all this other stuff next time, I guess. Okay. Powers! Power! I've got the power! Sentinel isn't bad for a first playthrough? Okay. I'm glad that you think so. <clears throat> Bleeding normal crystals. Oh, guys. Okay, so I can heal myself. I can. I have two, two points that I can spend. Force aura. Affect mind, Bob. But then that's just for. Is that evil though? I don't think I want to buy. Affect mind is. Oh, it's a universal power. Oh, it is. Okay, it's not evil. Oh, yeah, because isn't that like what, like. These are not the droids you're looking for, right? Not technically evil. They're apparently universal. Enables persuasive use of the force. Once a Jedi has this power, extra options will appear in conversation. Success is not guaranteed for extreme commands or if the target is strong-willed. Does not affect droids. Hmm. Hmm. Jedi mind trick. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys think this is useful? Yeah. Doesn't matter as much if I have high persuade, which I do. I do have really high persuasion, so maybe I don't need effect mind, hey? Because I can just persuade people. If I hadn't put like a million points in persuasion already, then maybe that would be useful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I am very persuasive. Okay, so force aura, plus two bonus to defense, burst of speed, move very swift swiftly, pressing his or her body to its physical limits. Um, and two defense is gained. Okay. Force Valor. Physical attribute saving throws by two points. Force Resistance. Offers protection from direct force power attacks of Jedi opponents. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, Energy Resistance. Absorbing 15 points of damage. Okay. Doesn't affect mind. Stun. Allows Jedi to assault the mind of his opponent, effectively stunning them for nine seconds. I that's kind of useful. I like stunning because then they can't fight. Healing and speed are nice, Bob. Yeah, I mean that's true. If I don't have Bastila with me, then it would be nice to be able to heal myself. And the speed does sound nice too, because then I can travel around fast. Most people go for speed first, do they? I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm considering it. I just want to look at all my options. Um, okay, so for slow for the duration instead of stunt. Okay, stun droid wound that's dark side. So, this is all dark side stuff now. Oh, this one's universal force push. Push back five meters, thrown to the ground, stun for three seconds. Oh. And suffers damage equal to the attacking character's level. That's kind of nice. Successful reflex save by the target. Target not stunned. Okay. Universal power force suppression. Cancel first and second tier force powers active on the target. So th I'm going to be having to fight some force users, I guess. This is throw lightsaber. That sounds fun. I want to throw a lightsaber. That sounds cool, guys. <laughs> You've gone the entire playthroughs without unlocking four speed Jedi. Oh, okay. Speed gives you extra attack. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Um, no one ever said no to self heals, right? Right? Electro fingers. Oh, that's an evil one, though, isn't it? All the fun powers are dark side, hey? Yeah. Speed and flurry attack equals minced meat. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll do some speed then. That sounds good. Um... Okay, but yeah, throwing a lightsaber also sounds fun. 
but that's at range, but sometimes I like to attack at range. Okay, I'm gonna do speed, I think. Okay, but I have to upgrade to get the other attack, so I don't get another attack until I do the next level, but that's okay. We'll do that. I think we'll do that, and then we'll heal ourselves as well. So then I don't run out of my med packs. Flurry is your go-to, but flurry is not a... F that's a feat, right? That's not something that I have here. Do, 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 do. Flurry's a feat, okay. I thought so. Okay, cool. Accepting. Okay, and then mission has a level up two. Mission, my dear. I won't get many more feats, hey? Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. Lightsaber mastery helps you hit more, that's good. Because I would like to do that. I would like to hit more. Uh, dexterity. And... Demolitions. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I have four points. Why did I not? Mm. Never mind. Sorry. I did not think that I had um, that many points. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, Jedi. Oh no, what? Okay, so. Do I want to level up her Blasty Blast? Here? Or I can improve her dueling. Master dueling. Maybe I'll do that one. Master dueling. I think that's pretty useful. Plus three to attack and plus three to defense. That sounds pretty good. And then I just have to have one weapon in her hand. One. Oh, but is she using one-handed weapon? I don't know if she is. I think she's using a two-handed weapon right now. But maybe... So maybe I want to actually improve her sniper shot. She's got to be using a blaster, and right now she's using using a um, like a crossbow type thing. I think you can use any side powers; they just cost a lot more depending on your alignment. Level three force push is really strong. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> do. Stun for six seconds. Hmm. Or I could just plus one. Oh, but see, I don't know what she's using. Show. I think This one. Maybe I'll just make it so she only has one handed weapons. I don't want any more ranged blaster feats, but I could upgrade her initial one, right? Improved sniper shot. Um, she's good with two blasters because of her high dexterity. Oh, but then I don't have any dual wielding stuff. Two weapon fighting. I should have. She has this one already basically ready to go. Uh, crossbow counts as a blaster rifle, does it? I could upgrade blaster rifle weapon focus. I just don't know how much longer she's going to have. I don't know how much longer she's going to have um, the blaster rifle. Or if I'm going to find like more blaster pistols that are better and switch her to those. <laughs> I have to plan so far in advance. threat range. I don't know how... Rivals aren't very good, hey? Um, maybe I will just do one... I'll do this final and then switch her to a one handed style. 
Single one-handed weapons. Maybe? Oh gosh, maybe I'll just do a sniper shot. Or I can give her plus two skill points to demolition and stealth. Which would be useful for her, I guess. Because she uses those things. <laughs> so many options, so many options. I don't want to use melee anything. Hmm. This is mission. I'm upgrading mission right now, Bob. Upgrading mission. So I think that maybe I just don't really see how useful this sniper shot is, really. Or if it'd be more useful to do the improved caution. Who needs their kid mission, right? <laughs> Mustard and pretzels? Ooh. Sounds really good, Ellis. Jeez Louise. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to do... Because I don't know what I do. What to do. Is her last name impossible? Mission impossible. I'm going to just do that one, I think. Okay. Okie dokie. She's just going to be really good at demolishing stuff now. <clears throat> Mission's more for skills than combat anyways. There you go. Hmm? Okay. So. Um, do I get to go create my lightsaber now? I see you insist on wonder- Oh, this guy again. <laughs> I wanted to ask you. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking as chronicler of the- You should ponder the- Okay, nothing else. I'll go make my lightsaber. Talk back- Go talk back- Go talk back to him? <laughs> I can't, like, make it over here. I just have to go talk to him. Ah, good. Okay. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Disintegrators? What is that? Construction time! Let's do it! E. E. I don't have anything exciting to put in there, though. Okay. I want two, though. I want to have two lightsabers. <gasps> Look at me. Look at me. I have a lightsaber. I want to have two lightsabers, though. <laughs> so that's a two-handed? Is it? No, it's one-handed. Okay, cool. So I can have two. I want... Should I just put a... Can I put a lightsaber and a vibroblade together? I did it, Norway! I have a lightsaber! It's so exciting! Mission Vow. Yeah, that's her last name. <laughs> can we build this? Yes, we can! Come on, Ellis. Not no. Yes. Dooley's the most badass, right? That's what I wanted from the beginning. Miss Dual Wheel. Ellis, thanks for the applause. Um, do that for now? Okay. Yeah. Until I get my second lightsaber, guys. Cut my arm off instantly, yeah. <laughs> cool. Listen to that sound effect, guys. Yeah. Dual wield is hot. It is hot. You I have agree. done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen mm, the first time perfect, one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals perfection. are very rare, found only in certain Hydra, caves thanks, strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even I been like unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine yes, that may hold these crystals. Let's go find some. Plenty of lightsabers and mods. Good. Good. I hope so. <clears throat> Just crystals to mod it. Got it. Where do I find these? It is a rumor only. The galaxy will never be the same again. I do not know if there's any truth in it. Now that I have a lightsaber, you must learn right. first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber so identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. 
With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. Right. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. Me down. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. That's test Are you three. ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I'm gonna have to fight him with my lightsaber. Yeah. Okay. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always Let's present. Let's try it. I probably should prepare myself more, but... You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see Let's the see corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark oh, side holds sway. I thought I was going to have to fight him. Do I have to fight someone else? Twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, oh, is now where I have to go and fight someone? A wave of darkness perverts the region perverts around it. it. The cath hounds in the Bunch area have become savage and ruthless. Cath hounds. They have become a threat to the settlers. Okay. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. I thought I had to fight to somebody stop. with a lightsaber. What's happening? <clears throat> you want me to go kill cath hounds? What's causing this corruption? What is causing this corruption? The cath hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Oh my. Um, you have no other guidance? I can say no more. He's leaving me in the Some dark. Some things Proper you must pro see for yourself. Pro pro On None of the other Jedi at the academy <laughs> are permitted to help you in this task. Ah, but great. remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, you can't miss and it. those on the dark path are not always lost forever. Mm. The dark side still takes the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption okay. of the dark side has Let's been stopped. Let's go spread. I mean, stop this the is your spread task, of the corruption. May the Force be with you, and also with you. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, where do we gotta go? Where do we go? Guess I'll go outside. And see if we can find the grove. <clears throat> the grove, I'm coming for you. Entry level position should always involve proper warm up, yes. We're doing a little bit of a warm up, guys. <clears throat> Just a warm-up murder. That's all. What's up, Disra? Achuta. Greetings, apprentice. How goes your training? I hear you are progressing at an astonishing rate. I am. Astonishing. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking for crystals to alter my lightsaber. Have you got any for me? There are caves here on Dantooine that hold the rare crystals we use in our lightsabers. But if you wish to go there, you must be careful. The caves are a place of great danger. Save? Okay. Because I'm going to die fighting these hounds. Good luck with your continued training. May the force be with you. Shadow, welcome back. Guys, I think I'm going to pee before I fight these dudes as well. I think I am going to. Let me just see. I don't think this guy is going to say anything different. Okay. Are they going to let me exit one of these doors now? Or do I have to take the ship there? Cleanse a meditation grove to the southeast of the dark taint that has been infesting it. Hmm. Hmm. Grab a bongo. Okay, guys. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to get in the ship? I went the wrong way, hey? Okay, I'm gonna pee first. Demonstrate, I am using a um, widescreen mod and a mod like to fix the HUD to be widescreen as well. But other than that, no, just those ones. Um, dirty buttholes, yeah, dirty buttholes. Okay guys, I'm gonna pee, I'll be right back. I will let you look at this ship and these birds in the air. Uno momento.
I am back, bitches! Annie doth not poop. Yeah, women don't even have buttholes, guys. <laughs> Chair stream! Chair stream! Oh, just knocking off my sweater. Didn't even get more wine. I don't even have any wine, Alice. No wine today. No booze today. Just the water. I'm going to have more wine next stream. I'll buy some tomorrow. You missed my old chair, Psionic? I didn't like how it looked behind me. <laughs> also, the seat was torn into pieces, so I got a new one. I got a new one. Michael Myers is in my house, yeah. That's what's happening, guys. Okay, so apparently it's in the southeast? Do, am I supposed to go into these things? Oh, wait, it was the grove, though? Are there, are there doors that I can enter from there? Did I leave the enclave? No. <laughs> I have not! Oh, Alice, you think my toilet was overflowing? No. It's, it's all good. Okay, no, I'm wrong. Because it almost looks like there's like a little room there. Oh, this way. This is the way. The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Got it. I forgot about this exit that he didn't let me go down. Mm-hmm. Um... Two G's, one C, what does that mean? Look at how pretty it is! Oh. How nice. Settler, hello. Rahesha Sandral is a nice young woman. But her father has been keeping her at their estate since uh, her brother ooh, went missing. Ooh, this sounds like a fun side quest. It sounds fun. The music, it's very peaceful. I like it. Those damn Mandalorians have been raiding farms all over this continent. The Jedi won't do anything, so where does that leave us? The council's been telling us not to go near the These stones to the east. Have the exact Just same as well, voice. the cath hounds near there seem a lot more vicious. Imagine if you and your best friend have the same voice. Arlen Matali likes to lord his Matale. wealth over the rest of us. This is the what one who's I wouldn't his give for up? him to eat his own words. His son seems like a nice boy, though. Look, there's a flying creature in the distance. What is this? What is this? It looks like a giant manta ray. Why is there a sea creature flying through the air? What the f? Look, he's coming close to me. Oh, okay, mission. Mission doesn't want me to look at the flying creature. She wants me to pay attention to her. Okay. Shadows, hi, hello. Um, my, my YouTube uploads. I've posted some Detroit Become Human. I'm gonna post some KOTOR ones. I haven't posted my no I, I i didn't post the end of andromeda though shadows i'm sorry i did not although i could still download it i think at this point maybe if you're interested <laughs> um the composers for kotor and skyrim oh similarities hey i should keep an eye out speak to mission hey there what can i do for you um your brother i'm sorry for the way i acted before it's just that when it comes to lena i tend to get a little worked up why do you hate her so much <clears throat> friends whose voices have become really almost identical that's crazy Madeline. my brother and me had a good thing going sure griff had his run-ins with the law on terrace but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined that everything. That darn Lena. She was a dancer. Bad Eddie, just do it. Oh yeah, I should spray us. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Theresian Griff could never nobles. get rid of the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. You mean no matter how much he stole? That sounds harsh. 
Did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck Maybe around. Maybe she actually loves him. I guess him. she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe she actually loves him. Yeah, maybe she actually liked Griff. Just maybe. Just maybe. Hmm? I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina jealous. rat. She used Griff and took her away the only family I had. After they'd been together stolen. for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like Ooh, royalty. We're going to run to her that brother at some point, aren't we? Ago. I haven't seen him Good since. Good thing he wasn't I don't even Oh, know he's going to he think went. that she's dead, though. He's going to hear about the attack of Terrace on Terrace and think that she's gone. Um, how is this Lena's fault? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Terrace, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted but him good. around her little finger and made him forget all about me. Oh, I'm sure I know he's not I'll forgotten you. I probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. We'll find Don't him. Don't worry. We'll find him. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, do you know anything about the planet we're on? I'm not the uh -huh. one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. You're not very in the know, are you, Mission? I guess farmers. you are a uh, Sorry, literal child, help, so... You know? Is there anything else I can do for you? Ellis, I care. I care about her. That's the same thing, I guess, right? So... Okay, have it your way. See, look at that gun she's carrying. That's a sexy one. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a big boy! You like a big boy? Ba -da 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 -da. Nemo? Who's Nemo? Why does Please that sound do familiar? Me. I have pressing matters at hand. I mean, I know, like, finding Nemo, but some old man named Nemo? Have I met an old man named Nemo before? <laughs> you don't like Mission either? Fungus, I like Mission. People are hating on Karth, hating on Mission. I love them. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect oh, on sarcasm? the beauty of nature <laughs> and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I found Nemo, guys. I do not believe we oh, have yes, met Oh, yes, I again. Just said the My same name thing. is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Um, I've been given a task by the Council to go, um, Nemo with the ship. Did we meet a Nemo with a ship? It's very yes, you know my memory is crap. <laughs> Indeed. What is it you would like from me? Shark bait! Wah! <laughs> Teju Grove. The council has told you nothing. He's of not the supposed Grove. to tell me anything either. Um, I know it's tainted by the dark Do side. Do not be so quick to judge circumstances oh. about which you are ignorant. Oh. Not everything is it not tainted by the dark side? transparent as you would tainted believe. Tainted by something else? The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains. Look at that flying but be wary of cat hounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else okay. I can help you with? I'll be wary of them. Um, that, that to Very me. well. What Tell is me about it you it. wish to know? Tell me all the deets, please. Uh, where can I find a store? There are caves with lightsaber crystals. I guess both of these. Both ah, of these. You can find two stores here at mm. the Enclave. Aerotech has opened both a general supply store and a droid facility. And I think you will find their products We've already quite talked good. to those people. The supply store is run by a Twi'lek named Kratis Yurkel. He's a got a chip on his shoulder. Being with a big mm -hmm. chip about a certain on his shoulder, company. But Generous, despite corporation. That. The droid repair facility is managed by Carol Carr. A bit brusque, perhaps, brusque. but a good being a good nonetheless. Part. We have shared many a, a game of Bazaar in the small hours oh, of the morning. Don't say. Didn't is ask there me something to play. else I can help you with? Um Torpedo some British ships. Captain Nemo? Wait, guys, I don't know who Captain Nemo is. Yeah, I don't know. What mess- what- what reference am I missing? What is that from? What was the name the Nautilus? Oh, wait. Is that from... The Nautilus? Was that from... Um... 
20,000 leagues under the sea. Oh, I need to go read a book. 20,000, I have apparently, guys. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Brady, hi, welcome in. Guys, you know this. I don't know this. Captain Nemo, okay. Something I need to read. Ah, another book to add to my list, guys. Amazing. I will take all your book recommendations. Captain Dory, that's me with my memory. Yes. Uh, I'd like to know about you, about Mr. Me? Nemo. I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? I wish to know all your deep, dark secrets. What kind of name is Nemo anyway? Because this came out before Finding Nemo. This game came out before that movie, right? <laughs> I do read the classics. I haven't read every single one, though, Fungus. I haven't read all of them. <laughs> the importance you put in a name is misleading, young one. You, of all people, should remember that. Is there something else I can help you with? What do you mean, you, you of all with? people? What's that supposed to mean? Does he not like my name? <laughs> Dory one, too, yeah. Uh, um, Dantween. I want to know more about, about you. Tell me who you are. As I have said, I believe my name why is Nemo. Why are you here? I am here by the will why? of the Jedi Council. But why are you a Jedi? Indeed, my young oh, friend. Oh, he is. I He's am. a Jedi. Nemo. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices yeah, pass man. through this enclave, including me. A uh, member of the Council. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable. I mean, you don't know if I was going to think that was a good thing. Also, we each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? Um, I th About would like me? to. I am truly flattered. No. What is it you wish to know? What do you do here? I am here by the oh, will. Oh, that's the same. Okay, is never mind. Some... That's the same thing, Dantui. Very well. What is it About you wish to know? About guys. Just keep streaming. Just keep streaming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to read Moby Dick. I actually haven't read Moby... I have not read Moby Dick. But I, 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 I've heard the same thing. That it's like very... It's a bit of a slog. Um, Saracen. It's a big book. But yeah, I haven't read it. But I feel like I should at some point. I would love to read books to you guys, Ellis. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would absolutely love to read books for you guys but they'd probably have to be open source books that aren't copyright protected but i would love to do that that'd be fun i'd have to have a lot of water though my mouth would get real dry <laughs> um although it's probably not that much difference in the level of talking that i already do when i'm streaming although when there's dialogue in the game i can shut up a little bit <laughs> which if i'm reading a book though then it's just all me all the time okay Ooh, doo -doo -doo. There are caves. Ah, this is, yes. That's what I was Those missing. Caves. Those caves are dangerous the for the dialogue. unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. Ooh, spiders? They are attracted by the colors and heat given like off spiders, by the guys. crystals, I think. <laughs> Moby it stick, is a pity. Yeah. Those caves are strong with the force. I'll go. Is there I'll something go. else I Jules can Bird's help likely you public with? domain. Yeah, um, you're probably right. I have to look it up. Not the Bible. No, I won't be reading that. <laughs> <clears throat> Although I think that's pr probably public domain <laughs> as well, right? <laughs> Some books are better read abridged, in your opinion? The ones that got paid by word. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. then you can be, a, you're encouraged to be a little bit loquacious. Is that, is that the right word, guys? Um, okay. Enough, I hope enough your of time is well spent Nemo. here on Dante. Hydrate. Thanks, Jedi. Thank you. Most of Dickens. I actually don't mind Dickens, Saracen. Sometimes Dickens can be a little bit of a slog, but I've actually enjoyed um, most of the Dickens that I've read. But yeah, it, it is a bit more of a struggle to get through it. Oh, Karth. Oh, Karth wants to chat. Copyrighted by the Pope. Gosh darn it. Play a Fallout game. Oh, I maybe. Maybe I'll play. I mean, I'd like to play all the games eventually. <laughs> I have heard good things about Fallout. Could be a real Dickens. Yeah. Yes, what's on your mind? Okay, Karth, what's up, my friend? Um, I want to continue our discussion. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, too bad. You gotta open up to me, okay? <clears throat> There's lots of dicks in books. Yeah, Moby Dick, Charles Dickens, it's true. Um, don't you feel better if you discussed it? Yes, that's the 
the beautiful the beauty of therapy guys you got to talk it out then you feel better when it's released listen sister just because we're working together sister doesn't mean you get to go back I ain't your sister mister I ain't your sister mister enough of that nonsense I'd love fallout you think so guys is there good lore and story in fallout because then I'm I'm sure I would I'm sure I would a visceral reaction to Dickens. You were traumatized as a child by being forced to read Great Expectations in elementary school? Saracen, I read Great Expectations in my lit literature 12 class. In grade 12, I read. In my final year of high school is when they had me read Great Expectations. No wonder you were traumatized. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, he called me sister. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I should look into follow up, guys. Um, do we have another problem now? Um. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. <laughs> Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? No, just you. Um, what exactly is it that frustrates? Is this flirting, guys? Oh no, I'm not falling for that one. I wasn't born <laughs> yesterday, you know. Really? No? Okay. Um And you say I'm frustrating to deal with. What, me? What did I do? <laughs> You're no typical male! Oh my god. Um Where have you been? <laughs> okay, I give up. You win. Hey, Look, I win. I suppose I could use someone to talk I to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. 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 You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. That's the one He's we saw with Malak. He's half the reason Malak has done so well right. in the war. Oh, Saul was my oh, commanding officer shit. back when the Mandalorian Wars uh... first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier. And I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it uh. back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Uh-oh. So we're gonna have a reunion when we run into each other. Hmm. It's fun to torment Karth. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> that makes you feel better, Saracen? I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's good. <laughs> School reading has weird choices. It does. Mm -hmm. The road was an experience. Oh, I like the road, um, but I didn't read it in school. I read it um, for myself. That's a, that would be an interesting school choice. <laughs> uh, you didn't think you would betray the Republic. How could you have not seen through that? You didn't think. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first Thanks. of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses oh, no. and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. Well, I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped him. He didn't want to believe it, though. Yeah, that's fair. Never saw it coming. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Your local library? When you move the entire history section into the fiction section, no. <laughs> this is good. This is good lore, fungus. Good lore. <clears throat> oh, your sister and dad made you read it. Okay, not your school. The Great Expectations at a young age. Yeah, I think it was probably too young. Probably a little too young to be reading that book. <laughs> um, you blame yourself for trusting your friends. I blame Saul, not myself. Sounds I was, like you blame I was yourself. Stupid, and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret Revenge. what he's done. He will regret it. Revenge. The Road movie. Oh, I haven't seen the movie. Oh, Blood Meridian. I did be, I did read Blood Meridian, um, but that was in a university class that I read Blood Meridian. So it wasn't high school. It was a university English class, but that was that was good. It was, uh, it was brutal. <laughs> it was good. Interesting. Um... Okay, so that's all of it then. That's terrible, awful. 
That's all of it. No, no, it's not. But oh. I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's okay. go. Okay. Well, that's 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 it. We learned some more about Karth. One of the first to defect to the Sith cause. Oh, one of the first, his mentor, Saul. One of the first. No wonder Karth has trust issues, though he seems reluctant to talk about it right now. Okay. Sorry, Karth. Sorry, Karth. Najmi, hi, Najmi. How is it going? Welcome in, my friend. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Okay, let's see what we can see. Gar. What up, Gar? Gar, golly gee whiz. Greetings, friend. I think mm -hmm. I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. <laughs> Has the council agreed to hear our petition? I don't know. I am an apprentice. I don't know what your petitioning is. They're waiting for you now. <laughs> that would be a little rude, hey? <laughs> Almost give her Leia hair with the, yeah, just her, um, her little electronics instead of buns. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I I'm glad mistaken. you've mistaken Does the me council for a, require our presence? For a Jedi? Um, I don't know. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Just chat with me. <clears throat> Dantooine, yeah, not me. Uh, we met Malik, yes. We saw the cutscene of Malik bombing Terrace. Who are you? My name is Gar. Me Gar. And my fine wife Rilke here. Rilke. A pleasure. Live a pleasure. on one of the northern farms, but the Jamon, Jamon the Mandalorian problem Thank you for the has follow. been getting really bad. I really appreciate lately. it. Have you played We're this game before? We're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. It's my very first time playing. Did I butcher your name? I apologize if I did. Jaminry? Jaminry? Jamon Rye? Jam on Rye! <laughs> I got there in the end, guys. Jam on Rye. It's rye bread, and you put jam on it. Amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Okay, uh, Cathounds. That's who we're trying to hunt down. Recently, the cat hounds we want to get rid of this infection. Aggressively, they've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the council hmm. will do about it, his but daughter. we need some help with this. I only hope they'll That's listen to the me. One is I'm there anything for, else is required? Sasha. Uh, Mandalorians are here, yes. Uh, resulted of bombing only terrorist surface are... Okay, lower levels. That's what I thought, Najmi. I was hopeful that the people in the Undercity were still alive. Like, they had that whole bit about the Promised Land. They couldn't have them just die, just like that. Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. Mm. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Supporting Is the there anything else I can help you with? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. And some flying fish. A lot fish. of new people have come in the last generation or so. That mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. The ones you'll most likely mm -hmm. hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Mm -hmm. So we heard about the Matali. He's the one who's locked his daughter up, right? Do something. Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. I Nurik, sense of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. Right, and now and he's no one knows locked where he's up his gone. daughter. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. Let's go I find don't the son. know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's mm. probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? I want to help. I want to help with that quest. Farewell, then. That's it, right? May the force be with you. It's, you wish this planet was more hostile yeah. to life? May the force be with you. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, okay, I got a quest. About... 
and some Mandalorian raiders that might be working for the Sith, apparently. Harassing the settlers on Dantooine. Maybe that's who's kidnapped the child. Maybe? <clears throat> Talk mad shit, Ellis. You do you. Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. You sound about 80 years old. Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining In your things. Voice. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. She doesn't look 80, though. Are you a Jedi? Looking fit as a fiddle. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Why protectors? is everyone ha! throwing shade you at me? You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Everyone thinks I'm a Jedi. I mean, thanks, I guess. <clears throat> Fungus, it's been a long time since you talked to these NPCs, yeah? I bet if you'd play again, you wouldn't really take the time to talk to them all. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. Oh. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. Shite. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was Ilsa? nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Master Jedi. <laughs> I'm not a Master Jedi. Um... I'm not a Jedi yet. But you have been accepted into the Order. Yours is the authority of the Jedi. I don't know if we'll go that far yet. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. I mean, I'll do my best. Wow, okay, so... John has told you the attacks by the raiders that killed his daughter, begged you to find them and destroy them. If they're destroyed, then they won't bother settler the settlers anymore, but it could be dangerous. I mean, I'll destroy them, sure. I'm down. I'm down. <clears throat> Wait, looks he looks like Van Gogh? Oh, Mandolin, I did not notice. Dry guy, hi! I'm sorry, I don't have my dehydrates. I have no wine right now, but thank you for the hydrates. I will do five hydrates for you. It's hard to do those all at once. Thanks, Dragai. How are you, my friend? How you doing? <clears throat> this is not the way to, pro to protect? No? He should have protected her better. Oh, the dot the daddy. Our last refuges. The Sith hunt us everywhere. Yeah, I don't have any wine. <laughs> Those damn Mandalorians have been raiding farms all over this continent. The Jedi won't do anything, so where does that leave us? I will help. I will help. You found this place to be boring, did you, Sprayus? Well, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. How low can you go? So, there's lots of different... Whoa, what is that creature? Is that like a weird lion horse in the distance? Huh. Let's go this way first. This guy's name is Ni. Nee. The knights who say Ni. Nee. Ah yes, you are a Jedi. I'm grateful that your people harbored me in my times of need. You're welcome. Uh, what happened to you? I'm a victim, a refugee, yes. I flee. Fled from my world once the Sith fleet comes. They bomb my world, destroy it, yes. They scour the continents, boil the oceans, Sith are bad, yes? Wow. But I run here, find the Jedi already here, unknown. They take me in, one left. Something, Republic fights but does not win, not you to blame, of course, no. The Sith are strong and destroy those who would oppose them, yes. My thanks you have and your order. Is there anything else you require? Uh, you might give something back? Should I ask for money? I don't know, guys. A lion from Narnia. Yeah, it's Aslan. Right? Is that, is that how his name? Dual wielding vibro saber. Najmi, I have a I have a, a lightsaber and a yeah, a, a prototype vibro blade. So yes, I guess vibro saber. <laughs> um Should I ask for it? If you're a light safe player, never ask for money. Yeah, I haven't asked for money from anyone, so I don't know if I should, guys. Uh, okay. Bye. Jedi have more to attend to. Always have more to attend to. Good day, friend Jedi. Good day, friend. Okay. They 
found a dead end. I don't understand why the Jedi Council are hiding here. Shouldn't they be helping the Republic? Apparently they're not the real Jedi Council. They're Did you hear about the young Jedi girl from Jedi a couple Council. days ago? I heard she hurt her master pretty bad. What? What's that? I hear the Sith have been beating the Republic pretty bad. They must have spent the whole time building ships master. since we beat them last time. Which girl? Was it me? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I do give money to people a lot. I've given away all my money so far, basically. Not me. <laughs> Elise. Hello. Are you wanting to go racing or something? Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion. Uh oh. You see? Your companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. This is I Ashley's the voice, is it? Open, but not the voice closed. actor? I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Um... Maybe? Could it have been Cathounds? The Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Oh. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Is this, like, a person she's talking about? Or, like, an animal? Did someone break it down? Could someone have bypassed the lock? Could it have been opened from the inside? Well, yes, it could have. Oh, he, oh he it's a droid. No reason to run away. His it's a, programming... It's a droid. Your missing companion is a droid? Well, well yes. And he ran he away. A droid, it's a good he's quest, very is it? She's crazy. <laughs> he's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. Oh. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I my precious. Do without him, he's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. Yes, is this her lover? <laughs> is this droid her her new husband? <laughs> what exactly did you use him for again? <laughs> he is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a Implying genius something at constructing naughty? droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. Including As the last the legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> Please, <laughs> you? I beg yeah. of you, return my droid to me. Hmm, okay. I'll see what I can do. Hi, Lustful Chan! Welcome in! How you doing? This quest... Uh, everyone seems to remember this one. <laughs> I'm excited. Um... I will help you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. Very memorable, hey? Him, okay. Please, send him home to me. <laughs> I need him so much. Oh, I need him. She's a little needy, isn't she? This is me in a relationship, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's lost her companion. Her droid companion. All that's left of her late husband. Is it like her husband's mind in her, this droid or something? Wishes you to find him. Kidnapped from her home, searching for him, for him ever since. This is him very much. I think he ran away. I think he was feeling smothered and he ran away. <laughs> oh, I have respect for your toys. Okay, Adam Larp. What a name. A dumb Larp. <laughs> Greetings, fellow sentient. I noticed that you are not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. My lightsaber is not enough. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Adam, a simple merchant with a much noble purpose. Very noble. Hmm. Went over your head as a kid, did it, did it Rodriguez? <laughs> She's down a little, she's, she's down. She's down bad, a little needy. Uh, what's your noble purpose? Yes, purpose. The settlers and noble humans of Dantooine have been plagued by cath hounds, raiders, and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such people as this. Therefore, I have made this my mission to be... To help people? Uh, what is your mission? Hmm, meat bag. <laughs> what would Marcus make of this woman? Ah! He'd probably be down bad too. 
Marcus from Detroit Become Human. <laughs> Uh, Jam on Rai, you've never played or seen this game. Ah, well, thanks for joining us anyways. This game is actually 20 years old. It's holding up pretty well, hey? It's by the same developer as uh, Mass Effect. To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I shall offer the highest of quality of weapons at the lowest of low of prices for them. Nice. I am here offering you much in the way of weaponry at low, low prices. How can any sentient pass up such a bargain? They cannot. Okay, let me see the prices. Let me see the prices. Weaponry it is and weaponry I have. What is it you would like from me this fine day? I would like some Bazaar cards. <laughs> You've heard of it, but you haven't played it before. Yeah, well, it's my first time playing too, so I hadn't played it. I'd heard of it, but I hadn't played it until just right now. There's there's never time like the present. Am I right, guys? Speaking of Detroit, will I replay and post phase on YouTube? Dry guy, I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a replay stream at some point in the future. I don't know. I haven't decided. I could do YouTube. We'll see. For now, I think I'm just going to do some KOTOR streams posted to YouTube. Um, but I'm trying to decide my next game to play for YouTube. I don't know. I do want to replay and see some different endings, but I might wait a bit. Uh, it's a great story, Saracen. Yeah, I'm excited to... I'm enjoying the story in this game so far. Okay, um... Let me see what you're selling. Here's the best you can find anywhere on this world. Anywhere on this world. <clears throat> what are you saying no to, Alice? <laughs> Twitch has an integration thing where your viewers can vote on Detroit choices. Oh, really? That's fun. <gasps> Blue! Hi, Blue! What a perfect song! Thank you for the bits, Blue. How's it going? Nice to see you. Do, 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 do. Woo! <laughs> Yay! We're ready to party now. Got the cantina band and everything. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, Blue? Okay, war suit? That sounds kind of badass, guys. Cassis Fett's battle armor. Light battle armor, stun baton, blasters, some grenades, a flamethrower. Okay, I don't think I want to buy any of this. The war stuff sounds kind of cool. I can only afford, I can afford that one and that one, but I don't think I even, I don't even know if I have medium armor proficiency. I think I only have light, so I'd have to check that. Ellis, did I say that I was going to be doing it now? <laughs> I'm going to finish KOTOR first. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, okay. <clears throat> I guess I can just go off into the wilderness now. Oh, look, see this? It has a, oh, it's a calf hound. That's the weird lion thing is a calf. It's a calf hound, guys. It's a calf hound. That's what it is. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Gen X, Jamon Rai, millennial, right over here. How's it going, guys? Um, Blue, hope I'm doing great. Thank you. You're hanging in there? Well, hopefully we can make your day just a little bit better. And um, the stream has been wonderful. Okay, here we go. Here's a cat hound. We got a lightsaber today, so I'm very happy. I should have saved before I did that, shouldn't I? I can't save right now, can I? Because I'm in a fight. <laughs> the lion horse, yeah. <clears throat> kind of lost it there, Alice. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, um, concussion grenade, maybe? Concuss yourselves. Okay, it worked on one of them. Oh yeah, so I have speed. I can do burst of speed now. Restricted by armor? What does that mean? Oh, I have to wear different armor to use some stuff? As a Jedi? Okay, I'm still in combat. Who am I fighting? Who am I fighting? I'm apparently still in combat. I don't know who with. Is combat done now? Can I save? Yes. 
I can save. Lion Horse Forever. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. <clears throat> All force powers. I can't be wearing armor. I can cure myself, I guess. Not that I need to do that. To do that. <laughs> I had full health. But, oh. Hmm. Yeah, most powers. Okay. So I have to find a sexy Jedi robe to wear. So uh, just most, uh, should I just put on clothing then? Although at this point, I think I'll wait until I get a robe. Cause that should still give you some benefits, right? Hopefully. <clears throat> Which way do I want to go? This way, maybe? I can use light armor. I think that I'm using light armor though, right? Yeah, I'm using light armor, so it doesn't let me... It doesn't let me do it with light armor on. I have to... If I put on just clothing, probably, maybe it would. Or I have to get some robes. Yeah. My Jedi bikini, that too. Metale Grounds. Oh, that's the dude whose daughter's not locked away. Wait, right? I am having fun, Shadow. I like to learn more about all that's going on. Okay, we're gonna talk to Matali after. I just wanna get a feel for the layout here. Oh, Kath out. I'm coming for you, baby! Ah! Like a little wild to response. Die to my lightsaber. You asked for this! Thank you. Oh, there's more. What's that? There's another creature over there. What is it? Oh, uh, a corn cat hound. Get out of here. Corn cat hound. Okay. Didn't even need to heal. Because it was done. The fight was over just like that. A great job. Thanks, Blue. Oh, Blue, you're so kind. Thank you. Okay. Uh, another horn cat hound coming at me. Time to die. I feel kind of bad killing animals. But they're infected, right? They're infected with things. You hey. asked for this. Heal me, please. Thank you. It is nice not having to use med packs, I will say. Pretty, pretty nice, guys. <clears throat> by attack by some lion horses, yeah. We lived though. We lived, guy. A horned, a horned lion horse, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. <clears throat> Someone who wasn't even born when the game came out is enjoying it. I was born when the game came out. <laughs> Unless you're talking about someone, people watching. <laughs> because, yes, I'm not that young. Ooh, maybe I should have uh, myself a little more space there. I'm gonna run away before I die! <laughs> hey, bitch! Oh! <laughs> Take a med pack. Let's I go! Have enough horse powers! Aren't I 20? I'm 29! <laughs> I was born in 1993. I'm gonna be 30 this year. Oh. <laughs> I was 10 when this game came out, I guess. Nine or ten, depending on yeah, because my birthday is December. But uh, it's nice that I look um 20, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not 20. Well preserved, thank you! Oh, uh-oh, I'm not paying attention to my health. Oh, everyone died and I didn't even notice. Guys, I was not paying attention. <laughs> Oops. Let's save, shall we? Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> Teehee. Clothes look cool, but zero stats. Really? The Jedi clothing has zero stats? Damn. Okay. I want to heal you guys, but my little force powers are taking so long to recharge. There we go. Health. Yeah. Woo. Health. 
health. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't die, guys. We didn't die. <clears throat> Fitting name. <laughs> hey, I'm not that young, guys. I'm gonna be 30 this year. I'm a, I'm a millennial. We're old now. <laughs> <laughs> well, lion horses almost wiped out my whole part my whole party okay this is gonna be the other estate maybe we like the health we like the health blue <laughs> yeah oh that's Vitali grounds oh there's two exits there's two okay good to know you can loop around through the grounds okay let's heal ourselves again shall we nice slow so slowly but yes slowly but surely slow so and steady wins the race I'm stuck on you car I'm stuck on you. Can't get you out of my head. <laughs> oh, Jedi robes has defense. Okay, Mandolin. Good. Thank you. But yeah, so that's why I'm not going to switch to my clothes yet because I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I did. I was assuming that the Mandolin, that the Mandolin, <laughs> that the, that the Jedi robes would be. Oh, strange ruins. Okay, we found it. That they would be. Um... Providing a little more, more, some, a little more oomph, a little more something, something than the clothing. Okay. <clears throat> am I playing lighter, dark, dark, Zach? I am definitely doing more light so far. <laughs> I've been very light. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely legal age. Definitely quite far past the legal age. Okay. Uh, I just want to heal up a little bit more before we go inside of this place. Should I use my wet, my med packs? Force speed adds defense. Not that I can use it yet because I have to change my outfit first. And I think that I want to keep my defense because right now I'd have to change it to clothing and then I would have no, no benefits at all. So I'm going to wait until I get a robe because I don't think it's... I think the benefits of having the um, defense versus using speed at this point because um the speed isn't at the, the part the, the point where it can give me a um extra attack yet yet so <clears throat> i age well mr Ice time thank you it's probably because i spent so much of my life indoors playing video games and not outside in the sun <laughs> If we're being honest, guys. Yeah, I'm not lying. I'm gonna be 30 on December 26th, guys. Day after Christmas. Zach, have I played Jedi Fallen Order? No, but I want to. I think I might want to stream that after KOTOR, maybe. Just do all the Star Wars. Because then I want to play the new one that comes out, too. Okay, Karth, last time. There we go. Good enough. You're good enough. You're good enough, Karth. You're nice and high health. Okay. Oh, shit. I wanted to save before I went in here before I triggered a cutscene. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Never mind. All good. I just wanted us to know that that was important, I guess. <clears throat> Critical strike lowers defense sometimes. Oh, that's true. That's true. I should keep more in mind of that when I have low health. Andalyn. Yes. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, door is too thick to be cut through with a lightsaber. Oh. How do I... So I came all this way for nothing. Oh. I guess I'm not supposed to go inside of it yet, am I? <laughs> I came this way to fight some, some, some dudes. And I did it. Right? Cleanse the meditation grove to the southeast. Okay, no. That's what I have to do. Um... Haven't I cleansed enough already? Okay, I'm gonna go... Um... I don't know... I assume that it's... That I've already done it. But let's go to this estate and we'll see. We will see. Um... Maybe I have to do all the stuff first. The tally grounds. Gonna have some Romeo and Juliet stuff happening here, I bet. <laughs> Whenever I hear about like warring families, I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Okay, let's do this side first. We 
maybe this is part of the grove, actually. I'm coming to kill you, Catherine. Woohoo! Let's go! Don't like dinner. Don't worry about it. All in a day's work. Oh, I can continue on through here to somewhere else. Hmm, Annie Montague, yep. Watch out, Capulets. Watch out. I'm coming for ya. Hello, I come to kill you. Oh. We're gonna try and not you go. Have them all to attack us at the same time. We're gonna try and pick them off one by one as we go around. And then we build this fancy estate that these people live on, apparently. Um, okay, the, I just wanna see. Is this gonna be that other person's estate through here? Grove. Oh, maybe that's what I have to go clear. Grove. That sounds. That sounds promising. Because I think it was called a grove in our quest log. I think we might have gotten the place. Page to explore. Nice friends. Did not come close to death that time. We're improving. One step at a time. I would like you to die, please. You and your little friends. Down you go. I'm gonna kill oh. myself and I'm gonna run away because I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Uh oh. Mission died. Mission died, guys. How'd you like that? Okay, I'm scared. I think I'm gonna die really quickly here. Oh my god, die, please, thank you. Karth, I'm coming to help you! Karth, stay alive. Whoa! Okay, I keep um, cutting it close, hey? But we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, okay. Mission just isn't that good. Yeah, she's more useful for like s helping with s um, like demolitions and stuff like that, but not the fighting, hey? Bringsy, yeah, Salbar is definitely better. I just like talking to Mission. <laughs> oh, her posture is insane. Um, my character's posture? when she's just doing her thing. Looking erect. <laughs> Cue the song Unstoppable. That's me, guys. That's definitely me. Okay, you're concussed. Let me attack you now. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't take any damage. Care about Bastila. Bastila doesn't want to come hang out with me though. Unfortunately. I like Bastila too. T you take Candrus? Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could get to know Candrus more. I don't really know him. So I'd be down to learn a bit more about him. Yeah, she's good with hacking. Yeah. Um, mission is. I'm just not really having to do any hacking out in the wilderness, I suppose. She's not so good against the, the horse lions. <laughs> um, what a little compound they've got here. Are we gonna go talk to this guy and his daughter that's locked up? I mean, I guess some speed would be nice right about now. The lion horses. Lion horses, sorry. 
Metalli droid. Okay. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Look at this little fancy pants place they've got here. Jeez Louise. Is this that other ent entryway? Probably. Mission is supposed to be with her Wookiee buddy. They're, they're all, you're always supposed to bring them together. And then he's just so much of a tank that you don't notice that she's not doing so good. Whoa, this area is huge. Damn. Oh no, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die no, here against please. these Mandalorians. My, my health is not so good right now. Anything. Don't shoot him! They named a tank after Candrus? Whoa. Like, for real? Okay. Um. Sh shite. Okay, we're okay. I can't- can I save? I can't save in battle? Oh, I can save! Because I haven't started fighting yet? Okay. Um, someone was concussed. Let me attack you while you're concussed. <laughs> Why aren't you attacking the person that I want you to attack? Okay, let's go for the Mandalorian! Not really looking too much like a Mandalorian in terms of prowess there. Journal entry added! Oh, because I found some Mandalorians. And I killed him! Equipment pack. Don't mind if I do! Okay, thank you. What did I get update-wise? Oh, missing companion. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, mm -hmm. um, Mandalorian Raiders. Mandalorian Raiders. Encounter some of the Mandalorian Raiders, plaguing Dantooine and have slain them. Did not seem as organized or as powerful as you'd been led to believe, right? Perhaps you've not yet met their most powerful members. Perhaps not. I'll find some more. Who do I have with you, with me? I have Karth and Mission. That's empty. I have Karth and Mission along for the ride. <clears throat> Bastille is the worst character that has as much dialogue. Really, Ellis? I feel like you think everyone's the worst. <laughs> Blaster Carbine? Is that something that I would want for somebody? Oh, she's using an iron rifle now. That's what it is. I thought she has the bowcaster still. What did I just pick up? The... Disruptor rifle? Blaster rifle? One to eight. One to six. Blaster carbine, that's what it was. One to eight. But I've got... Oh, maybe I don't want this one. One to six, but plus two to twelve versus droids. That's one to ten, one to... Oh no. Pistol. One to six. One to eight. Oh yeah, that's one to four. Blaster, Carbine, 1 to 8. Maybe that's better. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, yes, I what's didn't want to talk to you, Karth. You got it. Didn't mean to talk to you, my friend. Um, uh -huh. But maybe I want to see if you have any other better blasters to use also. I don't think you do. I think you've got the best. Okay. Okay. What? He's the best, better than the rest. Okay, that's where I would have come in. Right here. Got it. <clears throat> oh, maybe there was an accidental spoiler. No worries, it happens. You're a fan of Bastila Rodriguez? She... I think I could see her growing on me. Mm-hmm. Iron rifles, yeah, not for non-droids, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Is this also to somewhere else? 
to the gro oh okay so you can access the grove from two locations as well so i have to clear the whole grove out it looks like it's gonna be big <clears throat> more of a joke as a spoiler uh I guess if I could still figure something out from it. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Matthew! Hi Matthew, how's it going? Thanks for the applause, my friend. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm just gonna creep over to this area so I can fill out the map. And then we'll go talk to the bot at the front door. And maybe go inside the home. Find some locked up kiddos. Talk about a kidnapped son. Say, we're totally gonna find your son. And then be on our way. I, that's just me guessing what's gonna happen here. Okay, wait, so what's the front door? This is not the front door? That's a door. And then there's also a bot... Robot over here. Oh, this is... is this a door? This is also a door. Okay, droid. Which one's the real front door? This is private property. By what authority? I'm a Jedi. That's the, that's my authority. I'm a Jedi. Hmm. <clears throat> Free 5K. I'd like that. Too bad I'm not an American. Leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted. Mm, I'm gonna have to come back day. when I'm These on official family to to seeking business, privacy. aren't I? Perhaps we should respect their wishes. Can I go invade the doorway anyway? Math, Matali Pasca Pascard, okay, I'll get one. I'll get one. I assume this door is gonna be locked too. Jeez. Okay, I'll come back when I have a pass card. Jedi scum, that's me. That's me. <clears throat> Several side doors? It's not even a front door? Sith scum? Jedi scum? Human scum? That's the real answer. <laughs> That's the real answer, guys. Okay. We are going into a grove to fight some dudes. Let's go fight some dudes, guys. Alien scum. Everyone is scum. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, grove time. Grove time, grove time. Oh, I knew it would be an accident, Blue. Okay, gatherings. This is a big place. My goodness. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, whoa. He's just like lying down there? Oh, okay. you are We're getting attacked. Oh my goodness. I'm getting attacked by everybody. This is a lot of attacking happening. We're fine though. We're fine. We're fine. We're alive. One step at a time. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I love to hear those death rattles. <laughs> Give me your death rattles. Nice, guys. Noise. <clears throat> Fungus, it's all right. I do, I am pretty good at figuring out twists with minimal information so I'm glad you're being cautious <laughs> it's all the books I've read I'm good at figuring out common plot tropes um, okay remains Ooh, have I found a dead person oh who's this who's this she looks like an orc I will be your doom! What? What are you doing to my friends? Is this... Oh! Shit. Shit. 
can I save right now before the fight even started? I don't, I think it's too late. Taco, hi Taco, how are you? I've never played this, no, this is my very first time playing this game. And this person, I can save, okay. Okay, guys. Wow, is she the source of the infection? She's evil. Evil. Should I use a... a strength something? Battle stimulant? I don't know how hard she's gonna be. Hyper battle stimulant? Adrenal strength? Adrenal str well, maybe some strength. <laughs> Let me hurt you now, please. Yes. Yes. Let me hurt you again, please. I don't like how much health my health is going down here. Now I have no Jedi powers left. I don't know if I should be critical. I think that I should do it again, and then... Mm, should I try and concuss her, but then just concuss myself by accident, maybe? Am I gonna concuss myself by accident? Damn it, I always do that! Okay, I'm gonna die. Because I concuss myself instead of her. Oh no! Martin, it's going well, except I think I'm gonna die! You! Oh! You are strong! I didn't die. Did I? Did I get her? Did I just get her to a low enough point? I don't know what happens. <laughs> did I do it? I did it? I did it. I thought I was gonna die because I, I was silly. I was thinking maybe the concussion grade doesn't concuss yourself every single time. But it does. <laughs> I guess thanks for the applause. Thank you. Consume all stims. Oh, I should have. Hey? Okay. Use the four stims your butt. I, I can't, I don't have Jedi robes. <laughs> oh, thanks for the applause. Oh, Burnt, I will hydrate. Thank you, how you doing? Thank you. She could be a little tough, hey? Yeah, a little rough. Doing good job so far, thanks, Chris. For a scoundrel, it's especially tough, is it? Okay, we did it though. Martin's stream's going great, because we, we did it. Grenades aren't really a melee weapon, no, they aren't, unfortunately, okay. Um, who are you? I am Juhani. Can I turn this her to fight grove. for us? This is the place of my dark oh, power. Oh, she is this the one infecting the, the grove. Invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. Stretch Blue, mine. thank you. Oh, I got a pop. Thanks, Blue, you're so kind. Where's Dehydrate Najmi? I don't have any wine right now. It'll be back next stream. I just don't have any wine. She's a cat girl. Mm -hmm. Why did you embrace the dark side? I feel like she's going to be a companion. She sounds like it. When I slew my master, Quatra. I knew I could never go back. And oh, now child. I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Mm -mm. I'm cheating? I just, no, I just don't have any booze. I would love to have a glass of wine right now, but I don't have any. Was it liquor store closed today? No, I just didn't, I just didn't go to it. I just didn't go down to it. I didn't want to put on pants. That was the reason, yeah. <laughs> dark side is never powerful enough. What is it you want? I'll always be Why more powerful than you. Um, sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I have fallen, and dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council, so here I shall stay. What if they will accept you back? Uh, maybe I just want to talk. Taint. <laughs> Taint, yeah. <laughs> Cough syrup, no. Mm -mm. DoorDash, yeah. I mean, I could go downstairs. Actually, no, I couldn't because now the liquor store is closed. But I decided that I wasn't going to spend money on alcohol today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. Should I tell her that or just say that I want to talk? Is she going to get upset? Because she is the taint, guys. You don't need pants or booze. You do if you go in public, though. You do need pants to go in public. Uh, I just want to talk. Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? You don't I do me. not believe it. Kill me now. While I want you, you to still be my friend. 
Um, I have no desire to kill you. Yeah, persuasion. Persuasion. <gasps> Lissat, hello. How was your stream? Welcome Raiders. Can we get a shout out to Lizotte? Hey, there we go. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had an amazing stream. Everyone go give Lizotte a follow. What were you playing? I hope it was a wonderful fun stream. Playing at uh, The Witcher? Nice. Love it. Love The Witcher. Love it. Could kill with her chin alone. It is quite a chin. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just beat The Witcher 1. Oh, amazing. Are you going to go on to The Witcher 2 now? I love The Witcher. KOTOR is going very well. I think we're maybe going to get a new companion right now. Maybe. We'll see. You. You do ah, not. success. It pathetic. worked. I sit here and think myself she to be great really by embracing the dark side, dark but I am side. nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I I'll turn you back. They held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. Wow, quick um, revelation there. Hmm. Uh, you're starting tomorrow, Witcher 2. Nice. You started KOTOR and never got too far. Ah. It's fun when you, when you dive in. I'm excited for all the lore. A beautiful young woman. Oh, who has much talent. Okay, well, let's persuade. Is she gonna believe me? I thank you Success. for your kind words, Jedi. You seem yeah. to know just what affects me. She likes I to be called to beautiful, still apparently. Have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. She I wish that my master had not it. suffered because of me. Um, it's not your fault. I mean, it kind of is your fault, but. We're gonna make her our friend. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. Call her I a good kitty. My own way, She's a good kitty. I truly loved her. How can the council ever take me back with what I've done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. But they'd rather have you back, I think, than have you be evil, so... Jenna that turned to the dark side should be shot for treason. But wouldn't you rather have someone be able to change? If you shoot people who, who try to change, then you're going to just discourage people from changing. I think that we got to get people wanting to come to the light side. I should convince them that I am truly repentant, that I am willing yeah. to forsake the dark side. Yeah, like maybe, that. Just maybe they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible I'll after what I've done? convince them. Uh, they would always accept you back. I thank you. I Master hope that I'm not just I will blowing smoke up her ass right now. I shall submit myself to their judgment. 20%? Yeah, and yeah that's how far we are. Forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to We're you. We're still, again. yeah, pretty close to the beginning. You. I am sure I will hear We're great on our second things planet. about you in the future. I don't know how many planets you go to, but I feel like she's going to become my companion after this. I guess I cleared the grove, right? And this is some dude that she murdered. Mesh underlay. Okay, that's useful. Although I don't know if I can use it on a Jedi robe. Probably not. But we will see. Mandalorian melee shield. Oh, damn. Damn, guys. Um, <clears throat> I think you can make a mistake, Alice, and then you can still redeem yourself. Mistakes. Just because you make a bad choice doesn't mean you're a bad person. Redemption. Probably further than you got 15 years ago. Maybe you gotta try it again, Lasat. You didn't use Jedi robes, you used heavy armor, but then you can't use your Jedi powers. No. But maybe that would work if you're a, gu if you're a guardian. How'd you like that? Let's go! And you're not really using Jedi powers anyways. Oh my goodness. What? Are those man more Mandalorians over there? Looks like it. Okay. Um, mission, get out of my way. We're gonna go clear this bit out first. You can use some powers, right. Like I can use my heal, which I should use right now, actually. Oh, uh oh. Didn't need to do that. Mission don't die. Okay, that was good. 
Karth died. Karth! Oh shit, now I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, come on now. Mission, you're not very useful, are you? There we go. There's been a lot of close close calls here. Okay. Come on, let's save again. <laughs> so, you've tried out all Bioware games but never got too far into them. Oh, interesting. Maybe they're just not your cup of tea. But I feel like if you like The Witcher, you'd like Dragon Age, probably. Um, hmm, heavy armor with blasters, Ren? 2am, oh, Lissot, thank you. Have a wonderful sleep. Thank you so much for the raid. Sweet dreams. Okay, let's heal you up a bit there, friends, shall we? Oh, somebody has a uh -huh. level up. Let's do it. Level up, level up. Everyone's in rough shape, Bert. Yep. <laughs> oh, Cap Hound Orgy, yeah. <clears throat> Bastilla for all the other force powers. Ah, yeah, that's, that's true. Bastilla is useful that way, isn't she? Dragon Age, yeah. Dragon Age, I love. Okay. I guess we're just gonna make you even better at your treating your injuries. Not that I ever really heal, heal you. <laughs> okay, and then... Maybe we'll do... Increased two-weapon fighting. Done. Sexy. He's ready for it. Stop holding yourself. You are healed. Huh? There we go. Oh, that's not me. Okie dokie. Have we cleared out all the beasts other than the humans? Mr. Waster Time, long for the days of RPGs. Aren't they still here? They're still making some RPGs. There's a new Dragon Age coming out, right? Right, guys? Mm hmm. I I choose to believe it's still the days of RPGs. Okay. I'm gonna go over this way. Oh, Baluk. Who are you, Baluk? I'm scared that everything's gonna lead me to a fight. Okay. Just one more time. So many quick so many quick saves. Wrath of the Righteous. Old school RPG. Oh, I've not heard of that one. Okay, hello Bal Baluk. Baluk? Apprentice, your arrival here is well timed. Is it? Um, who are you? What do you want with me? I'm Baluk, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Ooh. Is it going to be that body I just found. Communication does not pose a problem as both the suspects and I speak basic and Hutties. I was going to handle this case myself, but now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you've been learning your lessons at the academy. Oh. I get to be a detective? Yay. I love being a detective. I have to go hunt for clues? Hardest quest in the game, what? Though you are not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. Do I get to do riddles or something? Hmm. Hmm. KOTOR 3, Alice? Yeah? Someday, maybe? Dragon's Dogma? I don't know that one. This one took you forever? Okay, let's see. Let's see how we go. What do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. Okay. I brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives, both at the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. Okay. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the case for you. There is little benefit if you don't solve this problem yourself. I'm ready for it. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you've gathered all the evidence you think you need, run through the possible scenario with me. This sounds fun. This sounds like a riddle. I was trying to catch people in lies. 
If you're unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with this myself. Okay. I hope I come to satisfaction. Pollyanna! Hello! Welcome in, Raiders! How you doing? We're trying to solve a mystery right now. Can we get a shout out for Pollyanna? Okay, these three men were out in the field together earlier before the clouds broke, apparently. Uh, I find that very odd for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds as it was earlier today. But that is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. We're trying to solve a mystery, Pollyanna. I'm having a very good night, thank you. Welcome, invaders. Okay, the dead man Calder Nedek was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it, and it's been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Handon Gold, he was unarmed, and the other was Rickard Lusoff, who was carrying a hunting laser. Okay. Both men say they did not do anything and they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there's more to this than what we have been told. Interesting. They say they didn't do anything and came across the body, but then they're both accusing the other one. What if it's a third person entirely? It's CJ the homie. Hello, welcome in, my friend. How's it going? Pollyanna, you're playing Age of Mythology. That's exciting. Hope you were having fun. He sounds a bit drunk, this guy trying to get us to solve his mystery. Maybe that's why he doesn't, he just doesn't want to do any work. He's getting us to do his work for him. You love Age of Mythology. I've never played it. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else I should know? One last thing. When I arrived, Handon was holding his side and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this as we progress through the case. I think I need to write this stuff down. Help me solve this mystery. I need to... I, I don't have paper here. I want to write things down. Okay, I'm ready for it, guys. We're taking notes. So Hand On was the one holding his side. Journal entry added. Okay, are they gonna tell me this? Um, okay, he didn't tell me this. So Hand In, Hand In, this pen doesn't work. Guys, I hope this isn't gonna be like the last time I took notes and then it was completely useless. <laughs> Okay, hand in versus um, Rickard. So hand in was holding his side. Okay. And Rickard is favoring one of his legs. Favoring a leg. And then it also said something about one of them was holding a gun. Shot in the back with a blaster rifle. Rifle was found near his body with blood stains on it. And then... Handon Gould was unarmed. And... Rickard was carrying a hunting laser. Hunting laser. Okay. I'm ready to hear their stories, guys. Rick on and dick on. <laughs> this isn't Game of Thrones, guys. <clears throat> Mucho shaka paka, yes, indeed. Okay, Star Wars game set where all your actions on every planet, outcomes of each mission, dictated the fate of the galaxy. That would be crazy. Okay, so I just gotta talk to these guys, ask them what's up. Oh, fungus! Thank you so much for gifting Pollyetta. Oh, Thank you, Fungus, for the gift sub. So kind. Pollyanna gets to be trapped in my basement now. Love it. Love it. Mm hmm Yay! Dancing's a good word. Okay, Rickard, you are the one with your leg. Okay, then I can also ask the, the information droid. Should I talk to the information droid first, maybe? Yeah. Greetings, Apprentice. 
You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I'm gonna talk I to him again after maybe. Evil droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay from the central government facilities here on Dantooine. Time if to do some puzzling. Please do not hesitate to talk to me. Do I have already retrieved work. some information from the archives on Cold and Netic, Ricardo Yes, Lusoff, I need to learn Helen about Calder too. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Yes, all the details. All the details, please. You can talk to them as many times as I want in in any order. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what did you find out about the bodies? About the body, not bodies. There's only one. <laughs> My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three okay. hours ago by three a hours ago. energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you torso. need? Torso. But it was also shot, he was shot in the back, wasn't he? Um, <clears throat> That's it. My preliminary analysis of the body indicates Single that he was killed blast. approximately three hours ago. By his okay. Is there any other information you need? And then about the planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There okay. have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Mm. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. So Is there one of them didn't have a weapon. Need? Either there's a weapon missing or one of them came out without a weapon because there's only two weapons. There's the bloody gun, the bloody gun that we saw beside his body and then the hunting laser. Hmm. Once I found something important or suspicious, talk to Bullock. Okay, because he can probably give me some like hints, right? Um, Mr. Asthmatic! Twitch Mobile failed you, oh no! Hello, hello! Um... Okay, more questions later. Very well, I will be here to assist you. Maybe more questions after I ask about these guys. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm um, Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Yes, you are a murder suspect. Um... Should I lie and pretend that I have heard of him? Will that get him to um, be more willing to speak to me? Hmm, tactics, tactics. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be mean to him. Should I have? Maybe that'll throw him off too. Should I have? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. <laughs> well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. Yes, tell me. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here obviously. running earlier today. Yes, running. Running. I do that a lot. Can't stand okay. speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. But he was anyway, holding his side. I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Okay, he so he heard a shot and ran over. Did you see the killer? He was running. He didn't have any weapon. Okay. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. Hmm. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so Sounds I can get on with my day. Sounds kind of believable. Um, dark and cloudy, that's true. That is other information. Weird weather to go for a run. Um, are you going to have any information about is him? Is there any other information you need? No? Okay. Hey. Um, let me talk to this other person mission get out of my way <laughs> another Rickard? jedi okay huh? helping that twi'lek investigate no doubt he seems stumped stumped I'm he apparently Rickard knows Lusoff. already maybe you can figure this out and let me get out this of guy here. seems like a bit of a dick <clears> hmm <throat> well i was out hunting iriaz when i spotted Iriaz's. one over here okay. by the bridge i pull out my rifle and aim at it i couldn't see it that well mind you because the damn sun was in my eyes i thought so you had I a laser it and it dropped 
I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? Where's the dead... Where's the body of the... His sounds more suspicious. Because he called it a rifle. He said he had a rifle. But apparently he was holding a laser. I don't know if that's anything important or if that's like something... That's the same same. Did they say the gun that he had was a rifle? A blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near the body with bloodstains on it. But then they called Rickards a hunting laser. I don't know if that's something important or not. So, what do you want to know? Um... Okay, there's more questions to ask. What did you see happen? Well, I was out hunting Eriaz. And apparently, Eriaz. I saw one over by the bridge. Our the sun was docile, pretty much right but can be. Um, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, it sounds I found like Handon standing over the body, he couldn't holding his see... side. There wasn't an Eriaz in sight. I think he might. Oh, okay, take it. he Calder killed. Must he thought. Calder been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. bullock has got that now. Mine too. I want that back. Okay, so he thought he shot an Eriaz, but he actually shot a person. And the rifle near the body was because Calder just dropped his rifle when he got shot. Because you're supposed to always come out with a, with, um, with a rifle, with a gun, right? So it sounds like Rickard just accidentally killed him at this point in time. Um... Cabby! Hi, Cabby! How are you? You've been lurking? Oh, well, hello, Cabby. Thank you for lurking. My weekend was good. It was good. Just chillaxed. I watched, um, su Succession, guys? No, not Succession. Severance? I watched Severance. It was pretty good. Nice to see you, Cabby. We're just trying to solve a mystery. Um... So, what do you want to know? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, why were you out here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. I haven't seen many in the area yeah. recently. You thought you shot an area, but you didn't. But they're still shot around. A I was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body, and the Eriaz was gone. You shot now, the I person. don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Um. So, what? Uh, you were limping. Well, I kind of screwed brain my ankle running through the bush before I found the mm. body, but it's nothing that serious. Hmm, okay. Right. Right. Let me How ask can I be you some more assistance? questions. What did you see happen? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency holding button and called blaster. the enclave. Master Baloo came blaster out here shot. with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I think I have he things understands. I have to do. Everyone's doubting him. <laughs> Cap, you have servers downloaded. It's a good one. How I'd can recommend I do it. Assistance? Um, why were you out here I running? I was taking my daily constitution. Daily constitution. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Um, do you often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speed. I mean, that makes sense. Why he'd body be holding will his a side. healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> That's, I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Hmm. Do you think he would be more in shape, though, if he was running all the time? You're eyeing that robot. It was definitely the robot who did it, yeah. Puns! Hi, puns! How you doing? Welcome in, my friend. Hope you're having a good day. I'm trying to solve a mystery right now. A murder, actually. Um, How can I be a further assistance? I think I've asked all the questions, right? Yes. Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. With the cat hounds and no weapon, right? I know, that is... It is questionable. The no weapon. Like, what if they're colluding on something? Is there any other information you need? This... These plains are rife with wild animals. The Not more than the nine. 
The Eerie Isles are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cat hounds, on the other hand, okay, I think are I have much to talk more deadly. To there have been the over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisor yeah, was to given up three weapon. days ago Why wasn't the to carry a weapon, weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Hmm. Hash browns are more deadly, yes. Yes, there's no dead at Iriaz because I think that what he thought was an Iriaz was actually... Our, our murder victim. Is there something I can help you? I can do to help you in this investigation. Um, I don't know if it's going to be as simple as I think it is. Uh, tell me what happened here. I want to discuss the murder. I want to discuss the murder. Okay, uh, we should start at the beginning. If we find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, we will no doubt resolve the case. Let's try. So, hi, my hi. Woke up and can't get back to sleep. Well, thanks for hanging with us. Um, Hannah said he was nearby and heard a shot and ran over, only to find Calder already dead. He said Rickard came out of the shadows of the rock, holding a blaster in his hands. Rickard said that he was hunting Irias, saw one through the glare of the sun, and shot at it. It's possible that Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally and Hannah may have found the body, but that seems a very unlikely explanation. Really? Okay, so that's what I thought it was. It's more likely that at least one of them is lying. I don't know who's lying. I don't know. I don't know. I think the guy without the weapon who was running in the cloudy weather might be more sus. But there was no Iriaz also, so... Would, would the runner really have had time to, like, would, um, Handon really have had time to, like, stash the Iriaz? Safe to assume they're all liars, are they? I don't know, are they all working together? Time to think like Nancy Drew, right? It just seemed like it was so obvious. Punts, did I enjoy playing Detroit Become Human? I did, I really did. It was a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun playing it. I wanna go and play the other possible endings at some point, cause it's fun. There's like lots that you can explore. So much that I didn't learn. But look, ate the Irias, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got hungry on the job, guys. How are we doing in the game? So high? I don't know. I thought that I was... I thought that I had the right answer, but apparently I not. I don't. I do not. <laughs> Call Daniel Craig. He can resolve this. I can't. He said he shot with the sun behind his target. Yeah, so I guess that makes me think that it wasn't really an Irias. That it was the person. You saw it on my YouTube channel. Amazing. Yes, I... Um, I'm glad you checked out my YouTube. Thank you. I'm gonna make, we're gonna film some more stuff. But wasn't it dark? The sun, oh. Mm. 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 Did you just spoil it for me, Farmer Bob? <laughs> Are you giving me the answers? Adam, hi Adam, how's it going? Nice to see you. So that means the sun wasn't shining. That means that if the sun was not shining, he knew exactly who he was shooting. That means that Rickard knew, but I still, it's hard to know all of the, it's gonna be in like the tiniest little details. It's like that, isn't it? Is that enough for me to convict him? Hmm. They'll give me more mini investigations. Adam, you'll stay quiet for this one. 
It's hard. I don't know what to do. Well, I feel like I could say that he's lying about shooting an Eriaz because I think that he sh didn't shoot an Eriaz. I think he shot... But he's telling me that that's too obvious of an answer. <laughs> Urgh. Maybe he's making it want to seem like he shot him by accident, but he really shot him on purpose. And maybe they're both lying. Maybe they're, they've set this whole th thing up to be colluding to try and like make it seem like an accident. I don't know. And why does Handon not have a gun? Puns, am I going to play Last of Us Part 1 with Leah? Oh, I don't know. Um, not with Leah, I don't think. I would like to play it at some point, though. Simplest is usually the right answer. Well, then I think that the simplest answer would be that Rickard is lying. I'm gonna try it, guys. Oh, I think it's Occam's Razor? O-C-C... O-C-C-A-M or something? Rickard looks like he crapped his pants. Okay, I'm gonna try and say Rickard. Why do you believe that? Arkham Asylum Razor. Um, there we go. It was cloudy. There was no sun glare. Also, there might have been areas. I didn't see any, but there's no sun glare. Well done. Very cloudy this morning. It had happened, as Rickard said. The sun would not have been visible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. Maybe he just didn't see what he was shooting. <clears throat> Patch? Right, because there were some issues, wasn't there? Um, it seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This life doesn't prove... Oh, sorry, this lie doesn't prove Rickard is guilty. But I think you have taken the first step in unraveling this mystery. Okay. So I was thinking that I had to, like, one lie meant he was guilty. But we're just uncovering the lies. Got it. Uh, we should proceed on to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about their relationship with the victim. Okay. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Thanks. Thanks, because I don't know what I'm doing. So, what do you want to know? Um, did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good Thanks, long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have huh. liked this slime ball. Oh, so he does not like Maybe him. Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our mm. differences. We were actually business What? Partners. We were involved in some orbit you think you'd lead with that? transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be he the one to give the wife. news to his wife. Damn, that was a lot of information. Non Zero Two, hi! What's your opinion on slime balls? Hmm. Well, hmm. <clears throat> I guess they're a hit or a miss for me. <laughs> Okay, I want to ask so, you more. What do you want to know? How you doing, Nancy? Nice to see you. Uh, playing on PC, game crashed a few times. Oh no. Hopefully, it's better now. Or, um, they're working on making it better at least. Okay, why were you out here I again? I told you already. Yeah, didn't but I, I want to catch areas. you in a lie. I haven't seen many in the area recently. What with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Okay. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before. I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body and the Eriaz was gone. Now, Thanks. I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Um, no. So, what do you want to know? Not yet. Um, why would someone want to kill you him? Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. I when want the your motive. Answer is usually the right one. Maybe Can't you see that it must have been Maybe that's gonna be the I end. found the him simple standing answer is over the, right the damned thing. body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Apparently Baluk knows what's up though. Ask him again and again and again, Taco Trucks. <laughs> Drive him mad. <clears throat> yeah, he's a little grumpy, isn't he? So, what do you want to know? Um, I'm gonna ask you about the link thing again. I sprained my it's the ankle same thing. running through the bush before I found the body. Different. But it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want to know? Um, okay. Right. Already asked all that. 
So Rickard was his business partner. But they didn't seem to get along very well. Hmm. Grumposaurus Rex, indeed. Okay, what about you, Handel? How can I be of further assistance? What, did you know I the know victim? I know him a little bit, but I was not any a sort of great bit. friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. A the reputation? I didn't really want to. He had a hmm. reputation. Very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But family. merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. Hmm. Did he, like, beat his wife or something? Did Rickard kill him to, because he's in love with his wife? Hmm. Thinking there are reasons for things happening? What? No one said you killed him. Yet. Dun dun dun. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? C can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Maybe it was neither of you. How can I be of further assistance? Why are we out I here? was taking my daily constitution. It's the same thing. He said I just before. happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran same, over same. and found Calder's body lying there. Okay. Yes. We already quite asked often. this. I'm generally, a healthy body. Will yep. Okay. How can I be a further? Um. Oh. Why would I want to kill um, him? Well, you see, sorted business. Calder was involved in some pretty sorted, sorted business from time to time. That's more often than not, I've heard. Disreputable his business, business practices and more is here disreputable with us. clients. I've a even hut. heard he had dealings with a hut. Hmm. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, Annie. Hmm. Of course. I don't know yet. So if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, puns, I want to play that one as well. I would like to. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. What can you tell me about Calder and Handon? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? So, dude's lying to me. Dude's been lying to me. Oh, he says he's he hated speeders, though. Speeders. I thought he hated speeders. But he's renting speeders. With Calder. According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusop was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Mm -hmm. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Well, he already kind of told us that he hated him, so that's not that surprising. Um... Very well. Can we I will be here to assist you. confront them about that information, or we just have to ca catch? How can I be a further assistant? Because that's definitely hand in line for that one, because he knows him way new. Yeah, you rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Why were you renting a speeder with him? Punch his face in, why? My wife was oh, cheating on me. Shit. I slept in my own bed while Shit. I was in the next wife. room. But so he was cheating on his wife too. I may hate him for that. I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. So I must his try wife. not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out Calder's running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, on. not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Hmm. I still don't understand why he's renting a speeder with him, though. Oh, wait, the speeders could have, have been... The Gould would have been his wife? Is that what it was? The, it's not Hand and Gould, but the wife? That's the one who rented the speeder with him? How can I be of further assistance? Uh, you wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. Yeah, right? I could block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. I'm not. Okay. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. 
I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two, two days, days ago. ago. It seems Calder yeah, was seeing my wife out together. right under my nose, no less. But as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to okay. clear my head for the divorce proceedings, okay. not stalking him to okay. kill him. Running is not a crime. Wasn't the other guy who rented? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they had the argument in the bar. Of course. Of because course. it said, it Listen, said, if you need anything, I shall be glad to Gould. assist. Here. It said Gould. Is there any other info? Um, Calder and Handon. The Southwood speeder rental business. Oh has no, it says Mr. Nedek and Mr. Gould. A speeder had been rented by Mr. Nedek and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information? So, Mr. Gould. If it had said just to somebody Gould, maybe it wasn't. Hmm. Very well. I will be here to assist you. It still doesn't line up to me, because he said he only found out a couple days ago. So, what do you want to know? Uh, you thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing what just doing fine the cheat? way we the are. The business thing was this guy. This was the business thing. <clears throat> um, Rickard is the business one, and Handon is the speeder one. Mm hmm you want to figure this out i want to figure this out um as well chris <laughs> i want and to figure this out is that what you mean <laughs> figure it out the cut killer uh oh okay uh there's bad blood right right <laughs> okay he doesn't try to deny it he's just like yep okay so that's what do you it want? that's it okay i right. think that handon's a liar this round Oh, you you weren't able to figure this out. Oh, interesting. I don't know. You need to catch your tingle. Hi, your cat and more yawns. They look like demons when they yawn. I love it. <laughs> A hut. You left your metal bikini at home. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I think I'm ready. I want to discuss the murder. We know Rick had lied about the sun blinding him while he was shooting, but we need more to go on. Let's examine the relationship of each man with the victim. Hungry, sleepy demons, yes. Hannon told me he barely knew the victim. On the other hand, Rickard and the victim were business partners. Oh, Bert, posture check, hydrate, thank you. According to Rickard, they got along quite well. On the surface, neither man seems to have a motive for killing Calder. Um, I'm gonna say Handen. Um, I'm He knew his wife was cheating on him. Cause something about the two weeks. Two They got along well. No, they didn't get along well. But he didn't even say that, so I don't know. Well look, setting them up, yeah. <laughs> so am I able to look at what both of the options are before I decide? <clears throat> Fungus seems to be telling me that I'm wrong. By emphasizing got along well. Because <clears throat> apparently that's the lie. But then he was saying such mean things about him. You think I can check both? Neither man has a motive for murder, at least according to their own accounts. What do you think? Okay, so I can't ask. I can look at both. Okay, so then if I were to choose Rickard. Let's see what the options are, guys. I, I, have, I, have, I haven't decided yet. Okay, that's good. I get to choose. Um, they had a fight over business matters. He does not seem like a businessman. He's getting on my nerves. Okay. Hmm. So I could choose they had a fight over business matters. Or he knew his wife was cheating on him. So we don't know that he knew, but we do know that they had a fight. So... 
Um... Oh, but then he knew his... No, it sounds like these are both... Handon said he barely knew the guy. Yeah. Um... A motive for murder. They both have a motive for murder. I think they're both lying. Yeah, they're both lying here, it seems. I'm gonna go with, um, Handon, though. Because he knew his wife was cheating on him. That's a motive. They both have motives, yeah. I feel like you can't go wrong here. That certainly is a motive for murder. The case is taking shape. However, you mustn't jump to any quick conclusions. Perhaps we should now focus on the murder weapon itself. Okay. Let's focus on the murder weapon, guys. You might want to see what information the witnesses in the information droid can provide you about the blaster found near the body. But isn't that's not the murder weapon, right? Either answer would have been fine. Okay. Yeah, it seems like they both would be. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. What's so, up, Rickard? Uh, what about the weapon found by the that body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a oh. preference for Ichani weaponry. Okay, Ichani, that's a really nice proper way to say that. Rifle that he always used. I always wished I could get rifle. myself a rifle like the so one So he, he always that used a light blaster. It, oh. Calder only had the one rifle, too. Hmm. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Hmm, interesting. Because I thought that that would have been... I thought that that would have been, um... His weapon. But apparently it's not. Unless he's lying to me and telling me that it's not his weapon. Hmm. Hmm. Save so I can click without fear, but I... Even if I save and I, get, and I mess up, I don't like to, um... If I make a mistake, I like to just stick with my mistake. So I'm still gonna click with fear. Still gonna click with fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lying to cops seems suboptimal, but if you're a murderer, you gotta do it. Um, no safe scumming here, exactly. So, what do you wanna know? Okay, so I wanna hear that, that one more time. Blaster? Never seen it before. Calder yeah, himself this one had really a nice for a light Chani blaster weapon. rifle that yeah, he always used. Really a Chani. Nice light blaster rifle that okay. he always used. So maybe always if we talk to the droid, they'll tell us what like the, one he had. the rifle that was. That blaster ain't it though. Calder only had the one rifle too, so he either must have okay. borrowed that hmm. or it's someone else's. Hmm. Ron, hi Ron, how's it going, my friend? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Nice to see you. We're right. trying to solve a murder mystery right now. Uh, let me ask this guy, and then I'll talk to the droid. How can I be of further assistance? Um... What do you know about the weapon? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly what? have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even in Eerie, as That's they take a man down and get to the weapon. moon. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back Shit. after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Stolen from his house. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. It is a little sus. It is a little sus. Um. Okay, let's see. Information is droids. there any other information you need? There a report of Handon's blaster being stolen. Ooh. I am sorry, but I seem to be failing. Huh. I have searched and searched, Sus but indeed. I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Hmm. Is there any other information you need? Um, tell me more about the weapon found at the scene. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. It did Is not there belong any to other Calder. Information you need? So they know that it doesn't. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did, it not, did belong not belong to Calder. Belong to Calder. Is there okay. any other information you need? Hmm. Hmm. Ron, you came from the pub. Hope you had a good time. Isan, hi, Isan. How's it going? Welcome in. We're just trying to solve a murder mystery. Um. Okay. Very well. I will be here to assist you. 
Let's ask him about why he didn't report his missing weapon. How can I be of further assistance? Oh, hmm. That blaster was stolen from my house last week. Did I never knew what happened to about it. Him I hardly have enough it? money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. <laughs> Even an eerie can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most Where appreciate it if I could have it back then? after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Hmm. Of course, of course. Hmm. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. And he's not going to have anything else to say? So, what do you want to know? Hmm. Hmm. Right. Okay. Yes, a good old murder mystery. Let's see. The pup slapped? Oh no. Well, hopefully we can make sure you have some fun tonight. Um, is there something I can do to help? Yes. Let's, let's try and figure out the next one. Hand in, handing out the bullshit. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit determined about the weapon. It's not, um... The blaster is Handin's. Wow, he lied about it being stolen. He reported it. He didn't report it, though. I know that it didn't belong to the victim. And I know that it's Handin's, but do I know that he lied about it being stolen? Would he have automatically reported it? Can I assume that? That it wasn't stolen just because he didn't report it? What if he... it was stolen, but he just didn't report it? He said he'll be uh, glad to assist in anything, so he's the murderer. Yeah. Glad to assist even in murder. He lied about it being stolen. Because he didn't report it. Does that mean... I don't know if that automatically means that one is true. I guess all of these statements are true. Right? Maybe? It definitely can't be number two. It's gotta be one or three. Jedi Hydrate, thank you! I just don't know if, if he's if he's lied. Oh Ron, I'm glad that your day is better. I'm glad. We just gotta solve this mystery before we can go to bed. Um Three is true, but not a lie. Three is definitely true. I just don't know if one is true. If it's true, then I want to pick it. But did he lie about it just because he didn't report it? Maybe. I'm just worried if I press three that I'm going to fail this investigation because I didn't find enough information. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what I'm leaning more towards picking. <clears throat> How does three jerking move along the investigation? That's true, it doesn't really. You don't think you can fail the investigation even if you get parts wrong? Oh, really? Hmm. Is every, every, not every option is true though because he reported it stolen. Oh, that's true. He reported it stolen isn't true. So. Read my dialogue history. He lied about it being stolen. I don't think I can read it at this point. I guess I can exit out. Um, you don't think you can fail an investigation even if you get parts wrong, you just don't get the good ending. Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> the answer, the answer is in my dialogue history? Okay. Does that mean that he he did lie about it being stolen? Because I know that it wasn't, I know that he didn't report it. There are different outcomes, some better than others, but you can't get it wrong unless you can't solve it. Okay. Um. I... If I do, I haven't learned anything yet. Can I read my history and come back? He told me that he reported it. Did he? I don't think he did, because that's why I listened to the dialogue again. Hmm. 
But if he did... Because I thought that he just said it was stolen. He said I reported it? I thought that... Oh, I reported it stolen weeks ago. Oh, he did... Okay. Okay, then, then he did lie about it. Although we don't know that he he just lied about... Rep okay, so yeah, if he lied about reporting it, then he definitely lied about it. Okay. We've caught Handon in lie. Interesting, but I think we may need one final piece of the puzzle. Okay. I just missed that. I thought that he didn't say reported. I need to, to... There was a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back for analysis just before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire with the information droid about it. Okay. Okay. Isang, you stumbled here accidentally, yeah. <laughs> if there's anything else you need... Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I want to see where did it say that. Hmm. Um, I don't think that he says that. Unless he said it somewhere earlier that I missed. He said it was stolen from my house last week. That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. Hmm. Hmm. You saw it? I don't know where it is. <clears throat> the lie about reporting was in his first sentence when you asked him about the weapon. Okay, wait, did I miss it? It was early in his dialogue. The dialogue could use a, yeah, could use a search function. Um, I bet if I ask him again, right? How Unless it's something assistance? that he doesn't repeat. No, you can't even ask him about it again, about the gun. Okay. Of course. Of oh course. well. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Oh, Spell. <clears throat> Jedi Detective, that's me. That's me. Oh well, they seem to think that we got it right, I guess. I don't know why I... But if you guys heard it. Because I... Did I ask him it twice and I just missed one? Because... Yeah, just said, hmm. How, what do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. Hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on that. On hand with all the ravenous cath hounds. Even an ear can take a man down. Every settler has a weapon. It's a most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that record is the killer. Oh well. Oh, Spell. <clears throat> as long as I don't hit. Wait, hit bollocks next trigger? Is there any other information you need? I want the guns. But he didn't report it. That's why I was like, just because he didn't report it. Because I didn't really catch him in a lie, but I guess because he didn't report it, maybe hello. they were assuming it wasn't really stolen. Ron, hello, hello. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been Whose sent back to the Emperor just before you arrived. The blood on the I'm weapon is up, definitely yeah. not corpus. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory and it had become degraded. It was not we Carter's cannot blood? Get any more specific what analysis the F? From that sample Chunky! Hi, Chunky! Thank you for the follow! Corpus. Is there any other information you need? What if it belonged to... an eerie yes. <laughs> Ask if I can keep the murder up and oh, is it a good one? <clears throat> so it's not Calder's blood, then I don't know whose blood it is. Very well. I will be here to It was contaminated you. by something. Did someone just like pour some blood on it? There was a bacterial contaminant in the sample. And it became degraded. The blood on the weapon is not Calder's.
Hmm. Then whose blood was it? Maybe it's your blood, and that's why your leg is hurting? I don't know. Can I ask so, them? So, what do you want to know? About this? This is hard. It's not right. making sense to me, guys. Was it Yuki as assassins? Yeah? Mm hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how does his blood get on there? Because I was thinking if he got shot, like it would be, it would make sense if it was Calder's. Unless there was like some fighting, some self defense. Um. I'm just trying to picture how this would all come together. So we know that his weapon wasn't stolen. Hannon got pretty cagey when we asked about his side being hurt. I thought he was like just uh, like, like clutching like a stitch or something from running. But if he was still holding his side, even when the cops came, then that does imply something other than being out of energy. Hmm. I guess let me see what my options are here. It's not Calder's blood. And it's on... Could it be an animal blood? Like, he was actually doing some hunting with it? And his maybe... The he so... Hmm. Hmm. Go ask them about those things. I don't think I can ask them about anything. How can for I this one? Assistance? I can't ask them about that stuff. I can ask them about it, holding a side. Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bat. He sounds sus. <laughs> yeah. I run. I don't know if I mentioned it. But then why are you clutching your side? Of course. Mm. Of you don't course. know the answer? I know, right, anything, Chris? I shall be glad to assist. The eerie has used the blaster, definitely, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the animal's gone, right? And then he was lying about the sun. I feel like they're both in on it. I feel like they both decided to come up with this. They both wanted to... He wanted him gone because um, he was cheating on his wife. He wanted him gone because he was a shitty business partner. And they were like, let's um, go get this done and then they were going on like out in the speeders together all the time yeah this isn't just all not adding up let's try let's figure it out let's see what the options are get a jedi master have them read their minds there we go okay let's try discussing the murder orient express Everyone's in on it. I assume the blood on the weapon belongs to the victim, but I want to be thorough. What have you learned about the blood on the weapon? So he doesn't even know that it's not about that's not on the victim? It didn't belong to the victim. This is surprising. So the blood must belong to one of the suspects, but which one? Hmm. Oh, Ron, thank you! 1200 followers, yeah! Very exciting! My instincts are good, yes. Okay, shit. So which one's blood? I feel like, I don't know. I don't know, guys, they're really making me choose here. Shit, hockey mushrooms. So, I feel like um, Handon was more cagey and it's his gun. Rickard admitted that he, why he, how he injured himself, but Handon's like claiming that he's not even injured. So. Hmm. Hmm. I know that it's contaminated, that's true. And would one of them be contaminated somehow? I don't know. What do I know about them? Contaminated blood. I don't know, guys. 
I kind of think that I want to go... I'm leaning more hand in. Hmm. Hmm. Adam, perhaps if they were touching the floor. The blood? If Rickard was shooting from a distance, then he could have accidentally hit hand in or something. And he could have hit two people in one, maybe. <laughs> oh, the contaminated parts just so I have Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so it doesn't really make more sense. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the the contaminated blood is just yeah. So we have to figure it out for ourselves. Okay, I think that it's I'm gonna go with Handin's blood. Didn't make sense for it to be Rickard's blood. I agree. Why do I believe that? Because he's not admitting to being injured, is my main. He's clutching his side. And it has been moving oddly since I arrived. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. We don't know much about the contamination. We think maybe it's just a plot device. Maybe? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Gentle clues, thanks, Adam. There's blood. Handed appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. Um, it would seem there's one logical scenario. Handon killed Calder for having an affair with his wife. Rickard was out hunting and accidentally shot Handon after he'd killed Calder. Oh. And then what happened to Calder's gun, though? Did I do it right? Um. What a pro. Thanks, Bert. I can say no, they are both guilty. Bollock is wrong, yeah, I think they're both guilty. I think they were in on it together, guys. I think that they were in on it together. I don't know. Because accidentally... Yeah, they both had motive, right? Conspiracy is always certain. Because... And I still... I don't know. Whose actual blaster is it? Like, I think it's Handon's, right? But And then what happened to Calder's gun, though? I don't know. <clears throat> you can decide the outcome and the final reward. I feel like they're... Oh, this is so hard. Because I don't really know. It's like really... Whew. I think they're both guilty, guys. I think he called over having an affair with his wife. Because he... Calder didn't have a gun. But what happened to Calder's gun? He apparently had a gun. The uh, Etchani or whatever, however you say it, gun. Light blaster rifle. So... She's nodding her head. Yeah, both guilty. Both guilty. <laughs> the gun on the floor was maybe... I think the gun on the floor was Handon's gun that was stolen, but actually wasn't stolen. I think he just shot him with it. But then how did his, how did, okay. Handed's gun, hand, Handed's blood got on the gun right because Calder shot him by accident or maybe on purpose. Um, and apparently he had this great blaster rifle, Rickard, I mean um, Calder. So I don't know. Rickard lied about the sun in his eyes, that's true. He's a liar. He's a liar. I think they're both guilty. A bold conclusion, one most people would not arrive at, but we are not like most people. We are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to this conclusion. Okay, it sounds like he believes me. It sounds like he's like, you're so clever, you got the right answer. We know Calder was having an affair with Hannon's wife, but what possible motive could Rickard have for wanting Calder dead? 
He's got a motive. He was also having an affair with him. That's why Rickard thought Calder was treating him in business. Well done. Both men had a reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of this morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning and each plotted to kill him. Ooh. They weren't working together, they just were doing it separately, and it just happened to both try and kill him the same day. Handon found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly after, Rickard arrived on the scene. From a distance, he saw Handon and thought it was Calder, so he shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated him out of in their business. If they were both sleeping with Handon's wife, Mr. Asmatic, that would be pretty funny. Handon would have dropped his blaster, the one we found at the scene covered in blood. He probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us hoping he could convince us it was Rickard. Ah. He's scared for his life. If they hadn't called the police, they could have just covered it up together. <laughs> Damn both of you. Are they going to fight us now? That is enough. The culpability of both of you in the murder and attempted murder of Calder Nanak is evident. Additionally, Rickard Lucif can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of Hand and Gould. You don't trust Paul? He did it. Yeah, he did it, guys. Hmm. I place you both under the arrest of the Jedi Order and will escort you to holding facilities in the Jedi Enclave. Did we get the best ending? Is that the best ending? Uh, you've done well here. It's obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. I will be sure to inform the Jedi Council of your performance in the soul test. Thank you. It is the best one. Yay! We did it. Detective! That was stressful. <laughs> that took me a long time. <laughs> uh, you might just make a proper Jedi yet. Yeah. Good day, and may the Force be with you. Aw, amazing. We did it, guys. Hmm. <clears throat> Give him a reason he comes up with a scenario. <laughs> Mastermind. Nice. Sternal entry added. Experience points. We did it. I guess, um... That was like a completed quest journal entry. Okay, my friends. Well, that was amazing. I think that that's the end of, yeah, at bedtime exactly, Fungus. That's the end of the stream for me tonight. We finished, we, we went 20 minutes later than I planned, but we finished the detective mission. We finished the detective mission. Who ate the areas? Yeah, good question. I'm gonna save the game. I'll be back on Wednesday for more exploring of the of the grove mm -hmm. and some xp yeah i would like to save thank you okay guys okay yeah fungus is ready for the raid already we're gonna go raid somebody how's that sound thanks for coming on the journey with me guys i'm having lots of fun let me get out of this game okay Quitting time. Quitting time, guys. Nut cracked. We cracked that nut, Mandolin. We did. We did. So you could accuse either of them, but I did get the best outcome. Amazing. I'm glad. I did think that it... I thought that they were going to be working on it together, though, so I didn't get that part right. They just both did a little oopsie there. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's find somebody to raid. Oh, Shadow, thanks for hanging. It was actually neither of them. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't wait for the next one. Oh, Mr. Asthmatic. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun, guys. That was 100 answer. Good. I'm glad. Good night, Saracen. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Um, if anyone wants to follow me on my social medias, there's my social medias. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I'd appreciate that. And then there's also our Discord. And then here is our raid message. <laughs> All the things. Bye, miss you, Cabby. See you next time. Have a good time, Zone Mr. Asthmatic. <gasps> Sadistic! You're here just in time for the end. Unmute stream. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You only have to have minimal suffering. Hi, Sadistic. How you doing? Oh, Ron, I'm, I'm glad that you still got to hang out and help us solve the mystery. Good night, Jedi. Good night. Let's see, guys. Who should we raid? Should we raid Terrence since she came and said hi to us earlier? That would be nice, right? 
bye Rodriguez. Thanks for hanging. I think we're gonna raid Taryn. Spread the love. Spread the love, guys. Since she came and visited us. Okay, here we go. Channel raid beginning. Chica, I'm wrapping up. I am, but thanks for saying hi. Have a wonderful night. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Okay, here we go. Pig asked about me. You said that you've never liked me and that was gross. Oh, I saw that Pink was streaming again. I didn't make it into the stream. Thanks for giving me a sub, sadistic. I saw that, right? Didn't I? <laughs> I miss Pink. I should go. Hopefully she'll stream again soon so I can go say hi to her. Very sadistic. Yep. Love me the way I want you to. Okay, guys, let's start this raid. We are starting a raid. Take care, Chica. Take care. Um, let me go to the proper. Okay, playing some. She's playing some Elden Ring. Um, if anyone ever gets left behind on raids, you can do a little refresh right now, and that should hopefully help you come on the journey with us. Oh, Funkers! Good night, Funkers! Thanks for hanging. I really appreciate it. Let's go spread some love. Go show Taryn some love. And I'm excited to see what what more is in store for us on our next co tour. Our next Kotor day on Wednesday. She's fighting Mil Mil Millennia. Is that a hard one? <laughs> Road Horizon. Oh, Bron, yeah. I was just thinking about how I, I do want to play Horizon soon as well. Soon, soon, soon. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to go to sleep now. Might have a little midnight snack. We'll see. We will see. But um, yeah, let's go show some love to Taryn, my fellow Vancouverite as she tries to fight some some badasses on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, guys. We are going to maybe play some Bazak? Maybe get another lightsaber? Probably not. We'll see. <laughs> okay, my lovely friends. I love you. I miss you already. Let's go show Taryn some love. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!